fucker. Okay, but bonus. Okay, bonus. Our pay bonus. is going this down. Guy okay. We pay. lose money. Uh, I know. I, I listen. I You're... get. I get that shit. But one bones. I mean, are you gonna argue against that? Please. I don't know what it is with. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is with with you and the mayor and his wife. You have some soft spot for them. No, what I'm saying. It's, it's something. Okay. I don't know what it is. Yeah, with because you, they actually. But you get don't shit see done. what they're doing. Because yeah, no, no, the no, only they, thing they, that they're they, getting they, done is lowering our PD, our PD budget, and holding it over our head in traffic stops so they can try and get out of stuff. The guy is a tyrant, man. Oh my lord! You think because of a damn traffic stop? I think he's that petty. <laughs> I mean, look, the mayor is the mayor. I would agree. Here, I'm, oh, here, I'm getting all this said now. Okay. But what is it? I, what do you see that he's doing that's so so good? I mean, he got that damn legislation passed. That did what? Which legislation? Oh, please, I know what you're doing. I'm presenting that today in like 30 minutes. All right. Okay, so that's why you don't see no any wrong with the mayor's. Okay. I'm going to approve that, I'm guessing. No, it's not that. It's not the mayor's decision. But what it is, it's the council's decision. Which Actually, has it's like everybody's seats decision. In, yeah, so basically. do what you need to do and then do the right thing. Yeah, but then here's the thing. What if you can, what if you can find a way to convince him that hey, because here's the thing, his term's over in about a month anyway. So there ain't no point in in you know going for the throat against a guy whose whose term is is over in what? Actually, I think it's less than a month, right? Like you want to play weeks. politics, you gotta you gotta you gotta play politics right. Okay, don't go for the throat on something that's about to end. What you want to do is you want to find out who's running the next election, and you want to you want to put yourself in a position to where you can make sure the PD is in a good light with them, right? Well, who is? Do you know anybody? I know Siobhan is, and I know Siobhan's been a big supporter Ooh. of us. Oh, fuck no. Hey, that's the different sort of the same fucking coin there. Yeah, I mean, he he's supposed to be the chief of staff for her. Right. So it's going to be the same he, shit. But, yeah, well, but, I mean, he, but here's the thing. He's supposed to do whatever she says. She also yeah, just but, twisted my fucking words yesterday in the meeting. Yeah, and also, wasn't fuck, uh, fuck face, uh, what's her name, Juno, supposed to be chief of staff? A couple of weeks I arrested later. her last night. Yeah. yeah, and then a couple of weeks later, fired, and Siobhan was the chief of staff. Listen, the big thing is we gotta we can play politics, but don't whenever it's a you know, it's a meeting between everybody, every one of us, you know, don't don't act like they have a blind eye to them, okay, right? If you're gonna be like, here, get in uniform. All right, please oh, yeah. listen, oh, everybody. All things aside, we, we literally have seen a decrease in officers on duty because they're going off duty to work second jobs to make money. This isn't yes. Right. right. Yes, but That's also, a, go ahead, Bones. That is a point, and that is, I think, the biggest strong point that we could use, because they could be like, oh, whatever, this, this, and this, I can, as an I excuse. I can hear the mayor's counterpoint. I can hear him. Well, what, counter, do the yeah. what do you think, yeah, what do you think the counterpoint, counterpoint is? is going to be, oh, so they have to make sure they're being paid well to do their job instead of just, you know, protecting the city. And the answer is right. yes, they can't afford yeah, to we're putting put our food fucking their... lives on the line. Every so, single yeah. day to sacrifice, right? Well, where, where's Nakoda? Because Nakoda is... Uh, this wasn't a, this meeting wasn't right, about but... this at first. And it oh, kind of okay. just, just kind of turned into... Yeah. Spun into well, because here's the thing. is Nakoda Nakoda's our mouthpiece, right? So these are these are all issues. Sure, you though, aren't you? The public relations officer too? I mean, not necessarily. For me, it's it's more with the people than it is with the council. Goes to so the council oh, meetings no. already well, begun. Votes, right? That guy. A council meeting starts in twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll call the code and tell him to come here. What hey, are we achieving? Hey, what are we trying to achieve to, here? Um, just with, give him a game plan of what we all think. I think he knows. Just come to my office. Uh, uh, Nakota oh. is no. I already spoke to Nakota okay. uh, prior to okay. Storm. He, he already knows. It's like everybody. High, all of High Command right now. Shift two like is, is here. Um, Lovely. Can't wait to see y'all. I'm in my office. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a like let's take a food uh, let's take a field trip to Dakota's office real quick. You guys okay. know where that is? Yeah, I know. Uh, one back to you. Follow me. I know where it is. Thirty-two. Uh, all right. What else do we want to cover? I'm sorry. What what is our tax rate? We it's four uh, percent. So it we would have been be, making six hundred or seven hundred and sixty eight dollars. Um, We're no longer making seven hundred sixty eight dollars. We're making how much? Our, um... So there was an eighty eight dollar decrease. Four four percent. Four percent would be six eighty six seventy two, not six eighty four. So eight hundred. So another unit. Can we get one unit back? Times four zero four. Uh, it's thirty two. Eight hundred uh, minus thirty two. Hundred minus is seven sixty eight. 
No, but I I made seven eighty four in one hour. One for one. I'm gonna grab Robert. You made seven eighty four in one hour. One hour. Yeah. Not in the last, last two just, days. Last, last night. No, six eighty four. Excuse me. Sorry. Six eighty four. So we're saying it got lower. Yeah. So currently we have a decrease in people being on duty so that they can live. Uh, and we're talking about people that are in, you know, homes that have multiple people in them uh, or to even afford uh, vehicle repairs or even to purchase their own PD vehicle. They're taking up second jobs and uh, they're not on duty. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where we are. And, and I know that he'll say we'll just recruit more. Yep. But they're going to be hit with the same issues. Yeah. Well, and then you come with the cost of the academy. Anticipating, I know what the answer is going to be, but again, I will still ask all the questions. Um, I don't really know at this point if uh, it'll depend on what uh, what Crane says, but he seems to have been uh, in line with this the whole time uh, as far as the new budgetary things. I don't know if he's aware of all the changes that were made, but I'll find out. So, all I'm going to say is if our pay has been decreased, which we're all believing our math is correct, our pay was decreased, yeah. there was no notification, nobody told us, yep. nothing. I mean, he, th he, threatened club, it to me. he threatened it to me nights ago, but I didn't think that he would actually do it. Yeah, because essentially uh, Matt was giving him a really hard time, and they had some, like, screaming match in the motor pool, and then he... Made some like kind of ominous call to me afterwards, like basically I don't remember the exact verbiage, but something along the lines of like he he proposed the idea of decreasing pay to see how people felt Bone, about it. Yeah, and Bone said the same thing. So that he... well, in my traffic stop, yeah, he, he mentioned pretty much the same thing along the line of hey, you think you could survive on five hundred dollars? You know, the problem is uh, it's had the reverse effect. We've got people going off duty to work other jobs. So that affects right. the city, and if he is the mayor of this city, and he is concerned about this city, he, he won't decrease our pay with absolutely no communication. Oh, yeah. I don't. Are you up to date on all the tax changes? Because I can give you a TLDR in one sentence. Me? No. This is the first I'm hearing of any of this. Uh, taxes have been cut 85% across the board. Uh, let me tell you. I'm sorry, what? Uh, general tax was right. cut from 10% to 4%. Fuel tax was cut from 10% to 1%. Vehicle tax was cut from 10% to 1%. Property tax was cut from 10% to 1%. Oh, get ready. This is the best part. And I apologize before I say this. Uh, power subsidy to citizens was upped from 8% to 40%. That is a 500% increase in the amount of money that the government will now be paying to the citizens to pay for their electricity. What? But our pay just got cut. We should be making at least twelve hundred dollars an hour. Excuse me. I mean, I, I mean, hell, I'd love that. But okay, so but here's the thing. Uh, this is what I propose. We we you. all we, uh, go ahead. Pretty much everybody's expenses, as long as they're spending a decent amount of time on duty, to where they can't complain. If they are, they just just work more. That's pretty much it. But you kind of just laughed it off. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go in there and ask a lot of questions and and see what anyone says because it it. I'll be yeah, honest, plenty of sir, It sounds like with. he doesn't give a shit at all, and he's just gonna do whatever he wants. And unless the, yeah. unless the state is gonna do something about it, uh, I'm he gonna get as much no oversight. He can. He has no oversight at all when it comes to changing it. He, he doesn't well, respond. To I anybody. mean, here, here's here's what I'm saying. Uh, we gotta we gotta articulate those points I was bringing up because here's how it's perceived: is we're just complaining. Instead of, okay, these are the things that's causing us to, to feel bad about our pay, right? So we'll go through, list them things off about how inflation in the city, people are making more money for, for are you know, they though? less work, whatever. We talked about our costs. We talked about our expenses. We talked about people going off duty. We talked about not being able to arrest more people and make money off of our commission, right? So... We just write this shit down. No, the impeachment has to go to go to the docket. I, I you have to post people, it to the docket. People, you you can't shit, vote on it. I think it. you're complaining, even though you have like a really damn good point. But it, it, you, they, they don't want to listen. They choose That's not to listen done. to what you're saying. Yeah. So it's people believe what they believe, and then unless they are convinced otherwise, it's not going to happen. Instead yeah. of hearing you out. So, I mean, shit. I'll, I'll start writing shit down. Even. I mean, the the obvious points are. 
our numbers are down. People in the LSPD that are working tirelessly, um, that absolutely love the city. Just well, we're, like he's not going to get impeached either way. We already know that. Um, however, it is ta it is finally taking a toll on people, and and we have people of seniority that are now cannot afford to live on the paycheck. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I will bring all that up. Uh, Chief? He's, He's on this thing where he... Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, Cornwood's presentation to go, you're, you're good on that? I mean, like, to what extent are you asking? <laughs> I mean, he's gonna he's gonna present his 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 open the, uh, uh, the document. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, what if there are financial things? implications in that, what he said, you were good with it. But if there's financial implications, what would you like? Uh... I mean, we can't do it. Yeah, I mean, if if they're gonna if they're gonna yeah if they if they're can, gonna ask for money for that it, shit. Yeah. If they fund it, they can do it. But if they ask us to fund it. And go fuck themselves. What okay. document? We can't. Uh, uh, check check your email. The document. Yeah, that was a. The document I'm being sent right now at this minute. Yeah, that's actually why I walked into the room originally, and then we started talking about something else. Because I, I, I was looking for you actually, because I want to show it to you. Am I the only person that doesn't know about this? Um, yeah, because because it it didn't get okayed basically until yesterday at like the eleventh hour. So I, I, I showed it in Dakota again a little while ago, and then uh, I was looking for you, and then that's why I came in the that's why I came in the meeting or came in the meeting room whenever y'all were in there in the first place because I was looking for you. So so who okayed this? You and Barrick? Uh, Slacks has seen it. Um, Nakoda Captain seen it. Captain Slacks Nakoda Officer Nakoda has seen it. Okay. Mm -hmm. A food by chance? Sorry. Go ahead, Ruby. And and here. how long have you all had this document? This this one's been around for a long time, cause I cause they wow. they asked me to well they they asked me to present the sheriff's office <sighs> ready to present it like six weeks ago, and then it just every week it's been like okay hold on just wait just wait and then last night at the eleventh hour I was basically told okay you can present tomorrow, like even before the old legislation everything so this is like old yeah so they didn't tell me until the last second basically that I that I'm good to go to present tomorrow. Yeah, I heard he was presenting when he talked to me like, well, like an hour ago, Cornwood, yeah. in the locker room. I, I don't even have words, anyway. I, I just, I'm just left out of the loop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is this is like old, old shit that ended up getting buried for a long time. Like, it's, it, I was actually actively looking for you today when I came on oh. duty because I wanted to go over with you and then, then yeah, turn into I've the been, I've been on duty all week, yeah. Well, I know, but I, I didn't get the, uh... <laughs> I didn't get the okay to present it until last night. Yeah, because every yeah every every week it's like okay, just hold on, and then they didn't tell me until literally last second. And and so you wanted to get approval to present it before. Obviously, I'm the only one that doesn't know before letting me know. Okay. Ruby, kick that motherfucker's ass and get us some. No, get us I'm some not going to call him the names that you called him. I'm. I'm not. You, know, you can names. leave that. You can leave the tyrant. Leave those sounds. Tommy, whatever okay. you want. You know. I'll oh. Go. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. That's. I mean. Go to on. be fair, he was a terrorist. That's basically the same. He's thing. a fucking tyrant. Let me go tell on. you. No, he yeah. is. Pop off, Ruby. All right. Who are you missing? Malton. He said he's not yeah, gonna be, he here. Won't be here. Mm -hmm. Oh, well then we're ready. Yeah. Which council meeting is this? It's nine. nine? Uh, nine. Is it isn't nine? Isn't it eight? I think fuck? it's eight, isn't it's, it? Oh god, nine. Last week was eight. Oh. Shit. Uh, let's thin the crowd. Andy Jones, please step forward. <clears throat> okay. Do you want the speed run version or or or? The actual TLDR. Uh, first, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about your accolades? My accolades. Hello, I'm Andy Jones, former three-time champion mayor. Mm -hmm. I now live in Polito, and we want to build that up as a town. That's going slowly Pause. but surely. Did Pause. you ever embezzle money as the mayor? You know what? I didn't. I think I was one of the very few, very, very, very clean mayors. You were. Please continue. Yeah. The 48 contestants competing in challenges and games created by yours truly until there's only one left standing to win the grand prize. The 
48 contestants will be randomly Happy divided into middle. teams of six. Two of these teams will compete on Monday, another two teams on Tuesday, and so on through Thursday. On each of these days, the teams will compete in five challenges. The team that wins the most challenges out of the five will then compete in the 3v3 internally, and the three winners will move on to return on Friday for five more games that are now individual-based instead of team-based. The games on Friday will see the competitors slowly eliminated until we have our winner. The entry fee for this event is $2,000 each, and all of the proceeds will be going towards the purchasing of the warehouse in Polito, which I intend to turn into what you could call a Polito event center, where I would own the space, provide all of the furniture, and not only run my own events there, but also hopefully down the line with approval from the council and business licenses and all that, be able to rent this space out to others who are wanting to create fun and collaborative events or games for the city. My ultimate goal is to use the space to promote the most amount of events and fun, which should be easy enough, especially with 50k. I think that's enough money to get people interested in the event, but not so much to break the economy. Uh, so. Yep, uh, you have. That's precisely what we would be concerned about. So, yeah, I, th I, yeah. Th I think that number is fair. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's like a life changing amount of money, but it's still enough of a chunk for people to go, "Ooh, 50k." Yeah, th like this sort of thing, I, I feel like we don't need Fed approval for. Uh, I think it's it's more than fair to uh, provide that amount of money for you because you are a, a trusted individual who has done this sort of thing before multiple times even. Mm -hmm. um, so if the treasurer would like to meet with you after the meeting uh, to get all that set up or maybe do it right now if she wants to, if she thinks everything's above board, then uh, mm -hmm. I think we're all in agreement by the sound. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Cleese Cornwood, why don't you have a seat, actually, if you can squeeze in there. Where's Malton? Malton is, uh, woefully absent at present. It's a very, very draining thing being a council member, you know, so sometimes we just can't make the meetings. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I don't mind standing. Okay, fuck it. Any All right, so, any Cleese Cornwood is here to talk about something near and dear to his heart, something that he has been working on, presumably, for months now. Uh, this isn't a guarantee that it will happen, but rather, uh, I would like to see the fruit of his labors, and I would like for it all to be known to the council at large. <clears throat> okay. Please. Uh, well, first things first is, what, what's the best way that I can, uh, share my, my document with y'all? Mm. Uh, send it to me, and then I'll put it in a council document. Yeah. Okay. Fashionably light. Dogtown. Hey, where's Bobby Charles? That piece of shit. Ah, uh, he worked hard last night. He's taking the day off. We subbed two two intruders. We did. It was beautiful. You would have loved it, Mayor Max. Um, no, I heard about it. Oh, you did? I, I honestly, I kind of loved it, kind of didn't love it, but you know, we we got a we got a new precedent set, which is uh, you know, no cops go into Dogtown anymore, forever. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> now a lot of this stuff was written in the past, um, sure. but, uh, but a lot of it still, a lot of it still stands, uh, basically, you know, uh, long story short, I mean, shit, I'll just go over the whole damn thing. Yeah, just read it, bro. Oh, uh, well, okay. <clears throat> Howdy, esteemed mayor and honorable members of the city council. As a proud son of the great state of Texas and a firm believer in the law of the land, in our cherished city of Los Santos. I reckon it's high time I had a word with y'all. With a heavy heart, I come before y'all to speak out against the uh, misguided ways of the LSPD when it comes to our sheriff's office. Okay? Now, I know, listen up, there's been a whole heap of trouble brewing up in our neck of the woods up north. Okay? There's been crime running rampant through the uh, northern stretches, including regions around the Alamo Sea and the Polito Bay. And us uh, law-abiding folks find ourselves caught in the cross crossfire. Okay. Pause. Pause. Okay. I got a phone call the other night from a concerned little Billy. He was like, Mayor, can you please, can you please put an end to the, the shit juice that my mommy is drinking? Because she's blind now and she can't take care of me. Moonshine is ruining our communities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, I mean, a little bit would be okay. But the problem is it's unregulated and there's, you know, people are drinking too much of it. But regardless. <clears throat> Don't matter how I grew up, but what does matter is where we are now. So, look, I think it's important that, you know, we go ahead and we, uh, 
We take our, our ourselves, okay, who have gotten caught in the crossfire, vulnerable to the whims of these no good outlaws who they you know they ride roughshod all over us, okay? They know full well that there ain't no sheriff in sight to keep them in check. So it's time that we took matters into our own hands and brought some semblance of law and order back to our community. Okay, okay so my plan is to establish a satellite operation. So that's going to be the sheriff's office right up there in Sandy Shores. You know, I call it the Little Alamo. And that is going to be our first step toward reclaiming our safety and protecting our way of life. So we want to bring justice to our doorstep, scare off them varmints, you know, Round up the wrongdoers and ensure the safety of our kinfolk. All right, mark my words, the little Alamo ain't just a building, but it's going to be a beacon of hope for our community, a testament to our unwavering commitment to doing right by our neighbors. It's going to give our local lawmen the tools and the backbone that they need to stand tall and defend the good folks of the Alamo Sea area and beyond. So, you know, I'm... I, I'm I'm, I ain't saying that it's going to be easy, so but there, there's going to be some hurdles and, and challenges to face, but I reckon that we're up to pitch. the task. So I implore y'all, esteemed leaders to our great city, to stand with us in our fight As for justice and lawfulness and make sure the little Alamo the sees the light of day for the betterment of all of us. Hey, he's been a so in closing, in the government I'd like to band bro. together with grit and determination. As we set on this noble mission to secure a brighter and safer future for our community. Together, we're going to stamp out the courage of or the, excuse me, the scourge of scrime and <laughs> the stamp pave the, the way for a Los Santos that we can all be proud to call home, you know, up there in Little Texas. So with the utmost respect and the yeah, uh, steadiest of resolves, it's uh, from me, Lee Scornwood Esquire. Okay, mm. que questions. Bootlegging, huge problem. Huge mm -hmm. problem right now. F massive freaking problem. Mm -hmm. Can you guys do me a quick solid, the cops in the room, uh, go through and try to when's the last time you guys caught a bootlegger uh, i mean i have a pending investigation on one it's uh sure but but he hasn't had the charges pressed on okay that doesn't count well i, I don't know if you want to hear this uh we, we could talk about it after probably do i know it okay let's get that it's your grandson fucking weeb oh yeah there's these two officers that are yeah we'll, we'll talk about it after all right. Uh, one thing I will say is, uh, uh, without the bootlegging though, we uh, we find a shitload of stills all over the city. Oh, nice. Like mm -hmm. I, I can personally vouch that we had at least a couple within the last week off the top of my head that were ten plus stills. I know that were found at locations. Nice. How much moonshine do those produce, anyways? Anyone know? Like one still? Like how much? How much shit juice is that pumping out? Personally, yes. I've not run any science experiments on it. What so. do y'all do with them when you find them? Blow them up, right? Yeah, yeah we, we destroy them. Yeah, we look at the contents. We make sure, uh, is it active? Is there anything inside? And make sure we remove anything, uh, and then we destroy it. Nice. For, for the purpose of record keeping, can you guys start keeping track of, like, when you do that, by the way? Oh, yeah, we and, do. Well, yeah. There's, oh, there's, I'm looking at the reports now. I can give you, like, there's, okay, so I said there haven't been a lot of arrests recently. But it seems like that's because they've been finding a lot of stills. So from the time when the last bootlegging arrest was, they found 15 reports about stills found and destroyed. Nice. nice. So well, that's it sick. seems the problem is getting cut off at the manufacturing level, and that's why the arrests have probably dropped. Uh, we got the honorable chief of police and the honorable assistant chief of, chief of police in the room right now. How would you guys rate your e efficacy of the your guys' county patrol right now? I would like 10. Could it be better? Could it be worse? Chief, um, you want me to? Uh, for, I mean, for it me, could certainly be. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Uh, for me, uh, it could be better. However, we release officers to go to certain areas within the city, depending on numbers that are on duty. So if there are enough numbers to keep the actual central of Los Santos under control, then we release people to Polito, over to Cypress Flats, up into Sandy, wherever needs our attention. Wait, where's Cypress Flats? It's by the uh, old tow yard off of oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Where all the new construction yeah. uh, sites just went up just south of there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the, the spots move, the hot spots move all over the city for crime. Would you guys, uh, well, I'd like to be onboarded as a cop so I can kind of like watch this for a day and see how it goes. <clears throat> you know, like the, the, the fucking dispatch reports and Reports you mean specifically cops. moonshine or just everything? Everything. I just want to see what it looks like on your guys' end. Onboarded or do you just want a, a day ride along? Uh, onboarded. Oh, like MDT access? Yeah. Mm. Um, I will say 
Actually, no, I don't have to say that. Yeah, I can look through those reports if I want. That's apart from what we're presenting or what is being presented right now, though. Do you have anything else you want to say about the Little Alamo Sheriff's Office, Cletus Cornwood? I, I want to talk about the bullet points. That doc is really an introductory document. It ain't about all the specifics of the behind the scenes, but it's, it's essentially, shit, I'll just go over the damn thing. Yeah, read it out loud. The next thing I want to talk about is the establishment of the Little Alamo Sheriff's Office. As an active member of the community here and a very staunch advocate for public safety, myself, Cletus Cornwood Esquire, fixing a pitch here this proposal to, to advocate for the establishment of the, the Little Alamo Sheriff's Office in Sandy Shores. So there has been a, I say, I mean, a hell, recent surge, but in reality, it's been, this, this shit's been going on for a while now. Uh, major, major amounts of criminal activities. We've talked about the moonshine going up, uh, people robbing shit, illegal marijuana operations. There is all kinds of shit going on up there. And I think we should beef up the law enforcement in that area and, and really mm -hmm. treat that area as a forward operating base. Okay. We open up that sher sheriff's office. We're going to rope in crime. We're going to protect citizens and ensure the safety and well-being of all the residents of Los Santos. These are the goals. We're going to kick off the renovations of the Little Alamo Sheriff's Office to give law enforcement the tools to operate and process individuals. So what does this mean? This means that we need to give law enforcement the green light to park and fetch their police vehicles up there with the valet service. We got to give the law enforcement the chance to clock in, clock out of duty. That's something that's already available. We got to, you know, set up the damn, you know, microphone, all the information, the interrogation room, so it all works good. We got to give dispatch and other administrative positions there at the uh, at the sheriff's office the ability to do their job when they're needed up there. We got to stock up the armory. We got to set up our, our forensics lab so that we can swap for DNA and we can we can run that shit. We can put it in our serial number system if we're registering weapons, so that we can safely operate from both inside and outside of the sheriff's office. And we got to give the jail cells the capacity to hold more than one criminal at a time. I do think there's a little bit of renovation to that building. The, the building is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I think there's a little bit of renovation to that building needs that I can expand on if y'all want me to, but there's some of that as well. Point two, we got to strengthen the collaboration and the coordination between the law enforcement there and the community to tackle the security concerns and to put in place some preventative measures. Presence is our first level of force. And if there ain't no presence, then people or criminals You're are going to feel now. like they can just do whatever the hell they want, not get in trouble. Next, we got to deliver more prompt and efficient law enforcement services to folks and businesses in the northern regions, including Sandy Shores, Polito, and the surrounding areas. I mean, shit's happening up there. People got houses up there. I'm damn sure. I know Mr. Simone, you live up in Polito. Uh, Correct. And, and Siobhan, you live in, uh, you live off of uh, Route 68 in Harmony. Yeah, interrupt. You know, mm -hmm. really if some shit happens anyway. at y'all's houses, then y'all are going to want to have law enforcement capable of being able to respond quickly. Not only that, but if some shit happens, they can find a suspect, take him to the sheriff's office. Even if they're part of the LSD, LSPD or the sheriff's office, it don't matter. But that building is open and operational so that we can process folks up there instead of having to go all the way down to MRPD and then all the way back up, which then increases the wear and tear to our vehicles, increasing our costs. It also reduces the amount of time that we're out there on patrol, which again, reduces our presence, which again, leads to more crime happening to good people of this city. It's all a snowball effect. A bunch of these little changes is gonna help to strengthen the entire community Okay, and really focus on community policing by building a positive relationship between law enforcement and the residents there. And that's going to promote trust, cooperation. There's going to be a mutual respect. Archer, so we need you, to go out there and let's roll would out be proactive strategies and initiatives shortened by having the, to keep criminals the, on their toes. The sheriff's yeah, you want to beef up that patrol. You want to keep an eye on surveillance. I think that's have what he was saying. Targeted enforcement operations. Let's set up a sting op. Now, like, uh, like the problem like is Ruby he's said, saying all this like stuff Chief, that we could do anyway in LSPD. But. We're currently not really capable to do that all the time because there's shit happening in the city and we got to, you know, we got to make sure units are down there and we got to keep that presence in the city. However, part of the reason why that's such a strong point that we have to keep units in the city is because if we do have to respond to something up north, then only one of those it places takes so long to process business. somebody by going back and forth and all that shit. That it, uh, the other of those it three reduces our presence is about overall, to get shut down it, by the mayor where we can't when he introduces his right, well, operating a business without a license room. legislation. And we so need that's only one business. We need so, so being able to go up there, process a guy, send it back is, is way the hell more efficient for everybody. And hey, sure as shit, I mean, we talked about folks living up there. 
I think uh, I'm, I ain't gonna put words in y'all's mouths, but I think you'd probably be lying, Mr. Simone, if you didn't want to have a nice diner or some some restaurant, some some shit up there in Polito for you to be able to go and grab a bite to eat instead of having to come all the way down the city to go get some senior buns and some stuff at the food plaza, right? Wait, what? Uh, where? When? Hold on. Well, when I no, what I'm saying is I thought we were talking about no, Sandy Shores Sheriff's Office. Sure, but I mean it's it's gonna work as a forward operating base for us to be able to respond more quickly to shit up north regardless whether it's in sandy shores Polito, grapeseed whatever it is so now instead so now it reduces the amount of time that we have to drive in order to be able to go and process somebody what restaurant Polito? well what i'm saying is businesses are going to happen ain't they i mean there's gonna somebody is going to be doing having a business up in up in Polito at some point so it's closer to go to sandy from Polito, or if somebody's going to have some kind of business up in sandy i'm surely at some point that's going to happen right I think what Carmen was trying to say is that the increased police presence is going to uh, build up the community so that businesses will want to open there eventually. Correct me if I'm wrong, Cornwood. Right. Yeah, exactly. I I mean, am I wrong here? Regardless of whenever shit does or doesn't happen. Wrong about what? my, My point is, is that people need to feel safe, whether there's businesses up there or whether there's people living up there. Yeah, Yeah, one, one day. Yeah. yeah, someday. Regardless, regardless of all that shit, my point is, is if we have a place up there that we can help people, to, so we can go up there, we can process folks, all that shit. This this whole idea of, of the sheriff's office open, it ain't some damn division where we're going to split our numbers in two or any of that. It is, let's open up the office, let's have a sheriff's election, and have a sheriff go open up that office, and then they go through the process of let's get the uniform set up, let's go through the building, you know, make make a few touch-ups here and there if we need to, go from there. It's 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 not going to be like a, hey, overnight, hey, half of the current PD is now part of the sheriff's office, and half the current PD is a part of the LSPD, and now y'all only patrol here, and y'all only patrol there. That's some bullshit, right? I, I, think, I think, you know, excuse my language, but I, I think it's pretty clear that, that would be some bullshit, and it, it ain't going to work that way. The way that I've foresee this thing playing out it ain't nothing but an opportunity for uh uh for us to really expand our presence up north and to serve the people of the city better so okay i i see what you're saying about it helping to expedite processing um and whatnot but does uh creating a new department even i mean is it necessary can't we just have the building be modified to accommodate what's necessary i mean aren't we still trying to bolster the the roster i I think i think you make a really good point about Mm -hmm. building a new department and you know moving away from the lspd and that's not necessarily what this is i I, i'm a big believer in having one unified police department that is you know this is this is one chain of command you know Mm -hmm. you are going to have your sheriff and all that but uh they're they're going to work in tandem they're going to work together they're not going to be you know, i mean obviously well, what, well what's the chain of command then yeah that's what i was wondering how would that break down for you just like a deputy being an officer in the an officer in the lspd would be like a deputy in the sheriff's office you'd have the same sort of coincide yeah, like, position uh, right, the how does the sheriff place? play in compared yeah. to the yeah yeah exactly uh, i think the sheriff would probably be on the same level as the, as the chief of police i mean that that shit i'm not i mean i'm not 100 percent so it's uh, not a unified chain of command then. Well, no they'd work yeah, together though be. they'd work in tandem and then eventually i mean if i have like a let's say well, a let lieutenant, it happen i let it happen if i have a lieutenant that uh, listen i'm gonna just say this okay like hey go do this thing deputy so-and-so there's a lot of reasons for this not to be a good thing a, but there's one reason why it is a good thing if there is a uh if there is an issue with uh an officer and then they have to be striked for it right they have to receive a dap a great word then that is something that somebody can push forward as a part of the lspd now i think all disciplinary action should be talked about amongst amongst the leadership and they should uh, they should approach the the punishment for that individual properly right but whether you're your lspd command or bcso command or laso command or whatever the hell it's called i mean you're, you're still a part of the same chain of command uh, one of your deputies, if you're the sheriff, let's say, hypothetically, goes to a scene in the city, and then your deputy, you know, let's say, executes a pit maneuver, and a command member on scene from the LSPD believes that it was uh, excessive and daps them. You as the sheriff disagree with that LSPD command member. How does that shake out? I mean, I, I don't think that command member should be uh, just putting the punishment forth right then and there. I don't, I don't think that's appropriate. 
I think I think the the command members should uh, bring it up to the other leadership and say, hey, this happened. How do y'all want to approach this? And I, I do think if somebody is in the city doing some shit, I mean, it, it don't matter where you are. You're still a police. You're still a police officer. And whether you're a sheriff, whether you're in the sheriff's office or whether you're in the city, people still are going to look at you the same way. They, you know, they, hey, that guy's either part of the police department or he ain't. <laughs> He's not saying when, anything. You're operating with folks in the city. <laughs> this doesn't mean anything. So to me, it's it's all it's all one. Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. If somebody if somebody does some shit, you know, in Cornwood, the, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Okay. In all fairness, I don't think you answered that question. What what would happen? Well, I mean, they'd be they get in trouble for it. Yeah, but but who? You said one chain of command. So why does the LSPD command member need to talk to the sheriff's office? Oh no, I think they talk to. I mean, they would they would just they just take it up the chain. From what, what so, from so what I'm understanding, yeah. Cornwood what, what, is saying that basically the the command member who deems it inappropriate and worthy of punishment would then take it to all of command, who would then right. discuss it, and then they would uh, dole out the the punishment as agreed okay. upon by all. The tiebreaker, the tiebreaker would probably come down to be in the department. I I also think, I mean, this is the original plan for how I wrote this thing out was under the assumption that we would probably end up having like a commission or something overseeing everything altogether. Wait, what? But that's, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's why when it comes to that side of things, you know, the behind the scenes specifics of that, I'm not 100% dead set on anything. I want to do whatever's best for the, for the PD and whatever's best for the city. So uh, if sheriff is on the same level as chief of police, would they be enacted in the same way? Would it be names put forth for the federal government to decide? Is that your thought process? I think the sheriff. I think the sheriff should be, should be an election. I mean, that's uh, how they do I mean, it in most cities, but that's y'all's decision. That's just my my opinion. Don't matter on that. It should be election. It it, it, it will be an election uh, internally or uh, uh psh, depends. I guess. So, so wait, this is happening. It depends. Honestly, uh, but, you said will. Why yeah. are we Why are we discussing this if it's already happening? You said it Y'all will be an election. Jake. Yeah, it will be an election when it happens. <laughs> right. So if it's a when and not an if, then. Why why, this isn't a pitch, it? right? Yeah. This is an announcement or a pitch? Yeah, Cleus Cornwood is describing to all of you right now his vision for a sheriff's office operating out of the center of Los Santos or uh, San Andrea or whatever, the fucking island. Okay, that's mm -hmm. it. Eventually, a sheriff will be elected. These two things are not the same. But you're saying, like, So a sheriff is happening why, no matter why? if we open the office or not. Uh, yeah, be it of this uh, of, of the LASO or maybe the BCSO comes back or maybe the how did the I screw Maximilian this up? Thoroughbred Sheriff's Office opens up. You know, eventually there will be a sheriff because there needs to be a what, a what is so hard to understand about this county presence. Eventually, okay, we can't just have cops operating out of the the city when there there is a rampant crime problem on eighty percent of the island. I mean, nobody's arguing that. It's just we don't. We're trying to understand why a, another department is necessary if the LSPD hasn't even been built up yet. Uh, a <laughs> counterpoint: What does it matter? How do how does having two different departments even affect anything? Could just Again, it, it's not. It's not another confusion. It, a couple more things. cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. More cooks in the kitchen is a big one. How? Isn't this uh, adding kitchens? Just it, like it, yeah, it's like literally just another kitchen. I mean, we well, could that's just not open what's up being building. described, right? He's saying yeah. it's all the same chain of command, so it's not adding kitchens. And if it's adding kitchens, well, I mean, that's it's a whole thing. Of it is franchising. <laughs> you know, it's like also, you know, we, we need McDonald's to franchise a police department that only a couple of weeks ago we were saying completely wasn't functional. And is the federal government okaying mm -hmm. the uh, funding to make all of this happen, or are we? Are, are y'all planning on fundraising to have all of that implemented? The looks I were mean, changed up there recently. There's a few things that I would like to add up there. I, I can, I, I would love to expand on that if, if y'all want me to. But as far as money goes, just the bottom line is this. If, if the, the state doesn't want to help pay for it, I, I mean, that's, we, we, we have a lot of other budgetary issues that, that Nakota can talk about. Look, um, the whole, Corwin, allow hmm. me. Okay. Pretending okay. Up, that opening up a sheriff's office is anything more than a cop wearing a different uniform with a different rank title is insane. It, they they will continue to work together. County officers will be in L in Los Santos proper, probably assisting with necessary calls. They're going to be using the same radio frequency. They're probably going to be getting the same guns from the same armory, uh, so on and so forth. This too many cooks in the kitchen shit, it, it just doesn't fly. Once again, this was just Cletus Cornwood presenting his vision for the LASO.
I know when no, Corey because would, uh, I agree having having a, a station further up north would be great and it would help expedite uh, processing. So and in that much, I do agree. I think when Cornwood was ori originally working on this too was underneath the original iteration of the police continuity plan, which did envision a commissioner, right? Other than a chief right. of police. So I think that, you know, obviously it would need to be, it needs some adapting for the current status quo. I just wanted to share that because I know that it seems confusing with the chain of command questions, but I, it, yeah, was, that... it was conceived underneath the original iteration of the police continuity plan. Right. Yeah. And I mentioned that earlier. That's why I was saying gotcha, like the behind, gotcha, the, okay. behind the, the behind the scenes stuff, that that stuff we can talk about, you know, internally as part of the police department, how we want to get that figured out. Right. But uh, well, we got two of the the most important people <clears throat> on the subject in the room right now. Fortunately, we got uh, we got Ruby York, Barrick Johnson. Do you believe that your operations would be impacted negatively by the the institution of another police department? Day to day basis, like operations, no. But from like a structural standpoint. I witnessed what happened years ago, and that is my only fear is what what happened years ago. If there is not a strong enough foundation, and you rip away the pillars of said foundation, the whole thing is going to fall down, and who, who, start over. Who are the pillars? Will have to be hammered out, but it, it, once again, it has no bearing on what Corner wanted to present to us. Uh, he's a cop. He's a guy. Uh, he's an old guy. Old cop. Uh, this is his vision for what he could see operating in, out of, in and out of Sandy Shores. Uh, and I want to thank you for presenting this to us finally. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I thank had you. a lot of Good questions. presentation, but, Cornwood. Like, yeah, I mean, if, if, put a lot of work into this. Yeah, great. I mean, if you have more questions about, you know, the, the nitty gritty, just ask me. I can I can talk about it later. Will do. Thank yeah. you, Cletus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Darktown, what up? Hey, uh, Cornwood, I love that. I just want to say something. Um, Dogtown would love for the last show to be established. We could use some northern neighbors. It gets quiet up there. Anyway. I've come here today to... to forward a few names. Um, uh, with just two people. Now imagine what we could do with... ten times that. Did Bobby find his gun that got robbed on him up there? Bobby, you got a taser on your... What? Oh well, uh, it's 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 not real. It's uh, I it's bought a it from a toy. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a the real taser is <laughs> in the oh, prison. No. God damn it, Max! Craig's gonna lose his mind. Uh, so, um, uh, does anybody have any uh, the police uh, directing this at the police? Do you guys have any qualms with how I'm operating the prison? Just want to get this out the way. Thank you. I already addressed everything. Uh, to catch up the rest of the council. There's been a recent spate of, uh, I don't know what we're going to call it, uh, confusion, willful ignorance, uh, or maybe just flat out disregard for the policies that we've laid out for both the DOC and the PD to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, I've attempted to correct those uh, confusions, we'll call them. Uh, most recently, there was something where Cornwood and Sultan went into the airlock of the prison with full PD equipment and guns, and Bobby and Carmine relieved them of those things uh, due to other incidents in the past where PD went in with guns and forcibly, like, took back a baton or some shit. I don't remember. Uh, I've effectively volunteered to mediate any of those disputes in the future. Uh, however, they should not exist. Be mm-hmm. We've got a clear understanding of the legislation. I hope all of the parties involved also take a, a double take on it so they, they, they know what they can and can't do inside Dogtown. I want to work with you guys. I want to make that clear. I do. I really do. we got to work mm -hmm. together in this city to make things work. Which is why I want Cornwood to have his whole lasso department thing. Because I feel like uh, us northerners, you know, we, we, we get along better. These city folk, they don't understand how we do things out in the boonies. Yeah, that's a great way to, mm -hmm. a great way to put things, Carmine. Okay, uh, so the list of hopeful, hopeful candidates that I've already approved, mm -hmm. but now needs your approval. I'll start. Uh, individual number one's name is Chris King. He is a media personality known for flossing on a stage. Also plays Fortnite occasionally. I've cool. I've checked his record. 
Yeah, it's pretty extensive. That's a hell of a record, Jesus. Holy. So, uh... Oh, criminal possession of government equipment? <laughs> what, what, makes you think, what, what, makes you, what makes you think this Zoomer piece of shit is a good fit for the, uh... Yeah, what? Oh, uh, for, for Dogtown. Just tell me, tell me a little I'll bit tell about you, I'll him. I'll tell and... you, I'll tell you. He's yeah. great at cranking 90s. He has initiative, and he's won a couple world championships. You know, Dogtown has got winners. We could use some more. Maybe we can teach the guys on the outside. And I feel like he's got gusto. That's why I want Chris on the team. Okay. Um. Does he have any experience? Yeah, he's killed uh, people. Really? I yeah. yeah, he got reckless I endangerment. Guess. Yeah. So clearly he can care justice, for others. Assault with a and deadly. Well, a lot of great things here. Yeah. It's, listen, it takes a man with a broken mind to fix a broken system. In the words uh, of my predecessor, Bass. Okay. Some of these huh. tools I bring to you today, they're not going to be the best. I understand you know, you're going to have uh, uh, negative opinions about it, but I'm telling you, these people have worked in there with me. And I've selected them from a long list of hopeful candidates. Did you say they've already worked in there? Uh, yes, pro bono. Well, yeah, we, this is just to get them hired formally. Oh, I God. mean, because mm. Carmine and Bobby can let in whoever they want. It's not like, you know. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But uh, why should this guy be hired on formally? What, Carmine, we're not putting violent felonies on the state payroll, okay? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, uh... I'm just gonna shut that part down real well, quick. Well, you know what? How about this? We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go to people Mr. The Mayor is familiar with. Brick okay. the Wall. You know him. He was part of your security team. Brick Shatowski? Brick Shatowski, that's the man. Does he have any violent felonies? No, I don't think so. No. He doesn't have a record. record. Yeah. Um, that's a miracle he doesn't have a record. Wait, no, that's because yeah, I was his got... lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good shit. Would you like for me to go through the list of why he should get a job? Well, he's an ex-cop, so I... I yeah, I, I'm back in yeah. yeah. well, let, Let's be... I, I let, think that's good, but... let, let's be clear. Sorry for cutting off, Kinter. Um, oh, you're right. Our vision for Dogtown does not hinge upon someone's ability to actually, like, do that job. It's no. a containment center for people like well, you, could. for people like Brick Shatowski, uh... For people who I just don't want to talk to. I don't to. want to say Brick's face ever again. So <laughs> I'll say you, <laughs> you can For call now, it whatever you want, center. Carmine, but we're not officially changing the name. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I know. know. You know what? I get it, Mayor. Dogtown was a strain, a sore in your eye, a little piece of fluff that you wanted out the way that was... You didn't no, I love, I, I, love, I love Brick. I love Brick. I do. I think that's actually a really good one. Yeah. But I plan on making it great, and I feel like Brick in the equation will make it great. You know, his Agreed. number one hit single, yeah. Love Song. I don't know if you've heard it. It's beautiful. I've mm -hmm. heard it. I, I have. fucking heard it, man. It's actually really good. <clears throat> All right. I've heard it many times, yes. So yay on Brick? All right. My, my yeah, vision yeah. is right now we'd, we'd limit it to like maybe like six guards or something. Six paid positions seems like reasonable. I plan on doing an academy with all these people. So they're not just going to... I have a whole boot camp regiment sorted out. Me and Bobby do. Okay? Oh, so wow. they're not all going to survive it. So the list... Will thin itself out, but these are oh. just you know, just so you guys know, just so I know who you're okay with. Okay. Uh, next one Works is maybe. former security guard uh, Gary Cubbon. You might have seen him working senior bunch as a security operative. No felonies. Doesn't even have a record. The man's a fucking ghost. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hold that. Thank you. Yeah, your nay on him. Do you need any uh, background? You want me to go into mm -hmm. his traits, what he's like? Uh, Let's sure. let, let let's table this guy for now. Okay, okay. What does that mean? I mean, yeah. I mean, it means yeah. you can you come talk to, to us next right week. Now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you said you only had two names, also, and <laughs> yeah, two? it sounds like you're about to say number four. Four. <laughs> hey, get comfortable. I heard these meetings long. Uh, Scotty Bard. He likes feet. That's the foot guy. <laughs> oh, Scotty oh, foot the foot guy. Oh, the foot guy. Oh, yeah, get him away. Yeah. Uh, oh, we, right. we can shove him in the prison. That's, yeah, you want uh, him in there, yeah. right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Scotty yeah. triple dark. You yeah, know, take him. since we're going through the yeah. list of people Mama we like... want locked away, you know, out of our out of our sight, people that are sure on society, I'm going to throw it out there. Mr. K, come on, guys. Let's get a yay. 
Oh, I said Throw no that violent guy in dog no violent felons. Crane yeah. literally just said no violent felons, Carmine. Yeah, so no. you, you, yeah you I'm pretty Bobby, sure that he oh. shot me, so there you go. You I tried, Bobby, guys. I fucking uh, tried. We made an exception for you guys because, honestly, we uh. felt that you guys had no chance of operating in, like, normal society. So we were willing to overlook your violent felonies in order to give you this operation because we knew that you guys had it in you to make it something great. We Are you proud really of us, Mr. Mayor? It. Yeah, I am proud of you. you I probably really thought am. we're going to fail. Odds against us. Minimalist budget. Hey, Cornwood, you could never survive on our budget. And just, just for the record, oh uh, Bobby, I'm Bobby did out get an expungement, yeah, so they actually don't have either. violent felonies. Yeah, yeah. Like, Carmine, same thing. Carmine, 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 Carmine has none. Carmine only has oh, assault and battery. Yep. Good shit. Yep. Cool. Neither of them are Marlo violent felonies. Marlo deserved it. Yeah. All right, yeah, we can probably, apply that standard. Yeah. Nice. Good. Okay. It's mm. Nice. They hate cool. to see me shining. Next. No, I, um, I love to see you shining, dog. Chess. Chess Donisberg, Anders Donisberg. Yes. That. Yes. That's my boy. I call him Chester. Are you serious? I really don't like the Swedes. Uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's American. He's American. He's American. Just put yeah. Berg in. You just put Berg. You can find out. Holy no last name. Just Donisberg, Anders Donisberg, and Sin. It's not that hard. Uh, I would be for this guy. Uh, my wife and oh, I know him personally. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think he is. He's a good fit for you guys. He's a perfect <laughs> fit. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. I can see that. Next, villager, the pillager. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, villager. 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 The pillager. I like villager. Background on yeah. him is. Uh, hmm? Oh, he's clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. two five, two five. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. He doesn't talk mm -hmm. much, but I mean, if you just need, you know, a guard who will stand there, I think you'd do a great job. Yeah, you haven't seen him in action. Right. That's why you say that. I, I no, know. Honestly, I think he'd be good. I know. I know a villager. The uh, police force would be Sorry. lucky if they had him. <laughs> Well, he doesn't speak English, so. Yeah, I'd, I'd have, you know, off. me and him have sat in a room and we've talked about the financial and economic status of this world. No. He's very you, learned. You I, talked to him I, about I, it and he said, You Ooh. probably spoke at him a lot, yeah. What are your thoughts on the financial uh, structure and status of the world then, Carmine? Communism is a solution. Wrong. Power to the people. Oh. <laughs> that is not what Power I was to the working oh, class. That's, crazy. that's crazy. Death to the bourgeois will eat their bones what? and the royalty. Oh my the goodness. blue. Oh my. Hey, but <laughs> hey, that's that's my personal opinions. I have a professional station. I'm the Baron. I was gonna say, did you just call for death of everyone in this room? No. Wow. I mean, I'm in this room, so. That's a good point. Glor. There you go. Uh, next, Justin DeMarco. No felonies. Regular guy, good guy, J Money, owns a couple of properties, and I need someone to help me raggle the bunch. It'll Are you kind of going lieutenant. in order of the people you want here, just to make sure you don't like go over the limits Crane said there? Like, uh, mm -hmm. no top I didn't, priority uh, first, I, I want to, uh, well, I, uh, I we're going to write this list, and then you're going to, you know, pick six of them from okay. your academy or whatever. Oh, okay, I'll we'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Gregory Johnson, former cop who did the right thing Ooh. and got pushed aside. And guess what? Dogtown takes care of good LEOs. Uh, I thought you hated cops. Yeah. Oh, me? No, I don't hate uh -huh. cops. I, I, Bobby definitely does. Oh, yeah, Bobby. I don't. I used to be a cop. I used to be the commander oh, of the I'm unified aware. police you force. You me. I'm aware. I have some people uh, forget. I, I, I remember too. You used to lie to me in court all the time. Oh it my god! He actually did a really good job. I'm gonna be honest. So to be he fair, he did not do a good job on the line. Just so we're clear. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, with Alan. <clears throat> oh, FTOing me specifically. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'm for hiring him. He doesn't have any violent felonies. If, if that's someone you work with. Yeah, I mean, if he if if he wants it, yeah. Okay. Um, Richard Wyotic, 3235 State ID. I the Cameraman. Speed. Creepy. You probably don't want him on the streets. F oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, this guy is creepy. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me get take him. him out of here. Let me yeah. take him. Good. All right. Uh, please, take yes. <laughs> take him, please. I'm going to say these. Uh, they fall They fall under no the Timo bracket felonies. as well. Okay. But I'm going to say the names regardless. Vivek. Ramaswamy, the mayor we never had, and Lilla Fulker, his right hand supported. Uh, 
spice. Uh, spice. no. You know what you could do? You could trick them into agreeing to staying longer. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, last time that happened, I had the fucking... I last time that happened, the cops were at my door ready to fucking breach my walls, thanks to Conan Clarkson. Oh. No. oh. Well, I would have killed every last one of you for the sanctity <laughs> of Dogtown, I'd have, you know, we were prepared. <laughs> Bushwookies well, is a lot. Yes, you were you were lucky Craig pulled mind. you off. You are so Carl lucky. Ryan, no. All right. Uh and I only had six bullets in my gun, but I had a warrior spirit. Uh next thing, recently me and Bobby realized that our pay got ducked a lot. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. What's up with that? Uh I don't know. Just waiting to see what you guys make, and if it's something great, then I'm gonna raise it back up. Don't you think the product we've provided for you right now? What well, you know, Nakota? What do prison? What do uh, criminals say when you send them up to Dogtown? Don't they? Do they scream and piss their pants and say, "No, please, don't send me"? God, no! I'm. I'll stop. Do, have I not helped in your equation? I will say I have had people say, "Oh fuck, shit! I have to go back up there with Bobby and Carmine now, don't I?" <laughs> I believe that that has earned me a pay bump. I'm fixing the all right, system. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll bump it back up. And it's, it's I would like to shame. motion for equal pay to the officers because we do just the same, if not more work than they do. I and don't it's just know about that. Us. Cool. That went well. Yeah. yeah. Is, is High Command here for a reason? Do you guys have something you want to talk about? Or are you just kind of yeah, observing? We're hoping. The, the pay hoping situation, I ultimately. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, what pay situation? Oh, I, I lowered their pay by 10%. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, but you raise the fines by like five percent oh, on your like, income tax, right? Yeah, yeah I lowered uh, the fines back down to d default. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's why they all have weird numbers. Well, they don't have it anymore because I, I lowered it like literally when we took a little break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the fines like uh, last night failure to signal was sixty three dollars. Now it's back to sixty, mm -hmm. so it had a five percent difference. So okay, go ahead, Mayor. Allow me to elaborate. I don't think you guys are doing a very good job at uh, actually catching and processing criminals. I think that there is rampant crime in certain aspects and parts of the island. And in order to kind of crack down on that, we are going to operate on a quota system. Now, you might be familiar with how uh, certain police departments and jurisdictions uh, typically are met with a quota in order to receive funding blah 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 this quota system is simple and i'm going to forward it to barrack and ruby here so that they can uh, make a little announcement uh i did speak with barrack about this briefly last night and certain crimes that i believe and from what i have heard from other people that are currently kind of running wild are being targeted by this quota system uh and i will just read off some examples okay Mm -hmm. uh, traffic citations. Obviously, we don't need people speeding through the city and stuff. I know that's kind of like the LSPD's forte currently. Is going to be worth 0 0.1 quota points. Um, joyriding. A big stolen car problem. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.5 quota points. Bootlegging. One quota point. Money laundering. 3.0 quota points. Uh, criminal possession of a firearm. 4.0 quota Ooh. points. Sanitation robbery, huge fucking problem right now. Uh, five quota points. Adoption fraud, ten quota points. Um, I don't really expect you guys to get that one. And I set a little goal for this week, starting today, of 50 quota points. If you're able to rack up that many points, you guys get a pay raise. And now you might be thinking, Mayor... What if we catch someone doing adoption fraud while robbing sanitation and they had a firearm that they weren't supposed to have, but also they were money laundering, blah, blah, blah. Basically, the highest point worth charge is what takes precedent. You can only get credit for one of these on an incident. If a sanitation robbery is happening and the guy had a, a gun that he wasn't supposed to have, obviously he would technically qualify for nine quota points. But wait, you only get credit for one, uh, you know, the root issue, which is the sanitation robbery. So it would be the highest one, five quota points. Simple. This is to disincentivize charge stacking or people trying to, to fish for, you know, trying to reach the quota point ASAP. Uh, you know, instead of the, the purpose of this system is to spread out and to target certain crimes that I have observed to be a huge problem uh, instead of just kind of sitting in the city and issuing speeding tickets. <clears throat> 
Uh, hopefully that allows some insight in this counts for all shifts. I think 50 points with this current system is more than achievable. In What's fact, the time period? Get a week, one week. So at the end of the week, you're going to go through every single report and add this all up yourself? Yeah. So will we be putting a halt to uh, recruitment? No. Well, it's just I, I don't. Uh, are there quota points for onboarding and for training and for academy? Are there any points for that? No. Will you be adding points for police work other than uh, citations and tickets and arrests? Uh, the the issue with awarding points for that is retention, right? Not uh, it, it's hard to say. You know, sure, you you hire someone, you send them through academy and stuff, uh, but you know, how can I be sure that that person is going to be uh, actively and diligently working a month from now? The pr the purpose of this quote system is to target specific crimes. I I will say I, I'm very appreciative, and I think it's an extremely valuable job to actually take hours out of your day to run those academies and to and to teach new cops how to be cops uh and i would be interested in, in discussing some form of uh bonus for people who do that monetary bonus but there are a lot of cops for example i think shift two could probably take care of this quota by themselves but yeah so what is the monetary gain should we hit this uh i'll raise it by five percent was it lowered by 10%. Uh, but uh, conversely, if you guys are unable to meet this very, I think it's a very reasonable quota, I will unfortunately probably have to lower your pay. Well, we already have people that are not willing to yeah, come on duty, I mean, so it'll just quite continue. Quite frankly, you've already made things worse, if I'm being entirely honest. So, what, what hey, in terms of just unit numbers on duty, since you made the change to the pay, things are already worse. The, the difference is a, a matter of, I don't know, six hundred seven hundred dollars a day well yeah because people would rather work other jobs in the city where they can actually make money instead of the job that we selected them and hired them to do which everybody else is going to make more money than them and they have to uh -huh. do twice three times ten times the work and it's just i don't know if the incentive or calculus for being a police officer is uh income then we have all failed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I look, and I, I know. I, I don't I, think you're listening to us. I am. Yeah, he just he just got done saying that lowering pay caused people to go off duty because they'd rather go make more money elsewhere. And my contention is my contention is that if that's the case, I don't think a ten percent amount changes that factor. That equation is not superseded by ten percent, is it? You're telling me that ten percent is the difference between staying a cop and going work another job? I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like cops already make less than working other jobs, so the ten percent is just a, a a symbolic emotional response to something and is not rooted in math. It's it's not it's not a logical choice where they're actually sitting down and budgeting out their income. It's a it's an emotional one, unless my math is off. But I'd be happy to hear how. Uh, who are the who are the cops that are? not coming on duty because of this out of curiosity so it's not a, a matter that they're not coming on duty it's just they are giving us less hours so they're still cops they're still doing you know when they do come on duty they're doing their work however due to um uh, whether it be uh you know several officers you know in a house trying to get a house together or or they already mm. have you know it's just basic cost of living a lot of officers are doing extra jobs because they want to purchase their ed vehicle you know so they've got goals it's not that they are not coming on duty 100 percent. it's just that we have noticed that they're clocking off duty earlier or they're coming on duty later because they're doing other jobs so that they can pay towards what they you know need to do a lot of us I got to tell you, the repairs unfortunately went up this week. So, you know, almost all my paycheck goes towards a repair. How much? How much is our one across right now? Uh, the highest at the moment like, that I've paid is about eighteen hundred. I think 800. I paid the other night. Two thousand is, the, yeah. Yeah, somewhere in between mm -hmm. that. I, I paid fifteen hundred the other day, so it must have gone up recently. It fl it fluctuates depending mm -hmm. on parts and availability, and certain mechanics can offer that lower 
price point, but not the always. The master mechanics, can. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, depends if they're on duty and all that good stuff, you know? If they have parts, yeah. So here's what we'll do, okay? Um, I want you to forward me the names of these people who are kind of uh, hung up on all this stuff, and if I, I will speak to them personally if it seems like they're not a good fit for the uh, LSPD because they're more focused on, uh, you know, a $70, or what was it? It was like $43 an hour difference, I think. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think you're quite fully understanding what I'm saying. They can make uh, what I would make in four hours, in a you know in in an hour hour and a half shift doing towing. Yeah, that, that's the difference. Yeah, but we're but so we're not... but hold on, we're literally right back to what I just said. You're just, you're just I'm still stuck on this. If okay, the ten percent passion for the LSPD, they're still okay. on duty. They're just not giving us as many hours. So and and but so you're trying to explain why they're not giving as many hours because it's more enticing to make you know four times as you just said, right? But the ten percent change that he made doesn't change that calculus. It remained before the ten percent change. So again, this is just an emotional response. It's not a logical one. I, I have yet to see any evidence that this is a logical measure response about budget and finance. It sounds like their pay got docked a little bit and they took it as like a symbolic thing. Well, well, that's the last straw. I'm just going to go tow. I mean, they could have done that beforehand. 10% is a lot, sir. I, is it enough to change the calculus or no? I mean, the fact that none of us were told it was going to happen, it was just a surprise. That's, you know? that's not an answer to what I asked. Say your question again. I've asked it three times. Have you not been listening to anything I said? Uh, I have been listening. Okay, my question sure is as follows. Listening. You said that someone can go make four times as much doing tow as being a police officer. Your complaint is that this is an example, this precipitous transition towards them doing that is because of this pay cut. And you're talking about numbers. But what I'm arguing is, is that they would have done that beforehand, the pay cut, and it would have been worth just as much more. 10% does not make it suddenly four times stronger. So if it's been the same before or after the pay cut in terms of that calculus, then what we're saying is these people took the stimulus of the pay doc and it became an emotional response. I have yet to hear any evidence or argument that makes sense that this is an actual financial issue. It sounds like it's just an excuse to flip over the game board and walk outside and take your toys and go home. Interjection. Also, uh, I, didn't get uh, to I lowered answer. income tax from 10% to 5%. So the difference here is actually realistically more about 5%. Hmm. So c can I can I answer? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I just I wasn't sure if I was allowed to answer. I, I don't believe it's an emotional response. Uh, I believe it is the fact that we are seen as officers of the law working for the city and that a lot of people feel that uh, due to the high tax rate before and now the lowered tax rate, which we are all appreciative of, the fact is our pay has fluctuated and with the amount of cost that we have to pour into the vehicles, and a lot of us are trying to save so we can purchase our own vehicles and become responsible for our own PD vehicles. I don't believe it's an emotional They're response. Making $500 I think it less. is a need, and some people are seeing it as a need. I mean, it was well, a need before, and they just feel even more slighted by this. Oh. Well, I, I, it wasn't my intention to slight you guys. It was just kind of, uh, you know, uh, if you oh, guys man. work hard, if, if you work hard enough, that 90% could go up to 125%. Can you imagine that? That would be great. All you gotta do is meet the quota. I'm gonna say the math, so, by the way, it is $500 left for an eight hour shift. That's what the math equates to. That's it. Okay. No, it's not like it's a, a giant chunk of money. To be you fair, for some people, that's enough wow. to afford their repair. Repeat that, sorry. Repeat I said, that, yeah, sorry. To be fair to some people, that is the money they need to afford their repair on the vehicle for the shift they just worked. Uh, fuck, man. Get out there on a bike, then, I guess, if you can't afford it. <laughs> people are doing that. Yeah, I know, and it pisses me off. <laughs> so, so you just Shouldn't said people get out on a help? bike, and that annoys you, though, right? Well, you yeah, but, the, I, you know... dichotomy it, between those well, two of, of course, I, I... Look, of course I see the dichotomy, okay? Uh, that said, I have no good reason to dismantle your bike unit. So, go ride a bike if you can't afford 500 bucks. 
I suppose I just see an imbalance between wanting us to work harder or prove ourselves, which I believe that we already have, at the same time as building the LSPD. We're not going to be giving any kind of quota to anybody that is pouring their time into raising up the cadets that we currently have or the academy that we are trying to schedule right now. So all of our time to get to your quota is going to be spent doing other things at the moment. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm just saying we've got a balancing game here and and you're either going to help us balance or or there's not going to be a balance. So you don't you don't think oh. the uh the active patrol contingent are capable of hitting the quota without the administrative side also participating? I think that it would be fair to say that the quota should span over all duties of officers. I mean, you could take into account FTO hours. There's multiple things you could take into account. If you're basing it just on arrests, I personally would have to talk to Beric and, and others in leadership about maybe putting a halt right now so that we can test how many quota points a week we get. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, you guys aren't going to freeze hiring. That's not happening. And will you be expanding the quota points to other duties of an officer? Look, I'm going to be honest. 50, 50 of these points in a week could be achieved by five cops straight up. They got a whole week. Eight, eight, assuming that they work eight hours a day for seven days, there you would have to be extremely, extremely bad at your job to not be able to do that. And I know that you guys have at least five cops who are able to do this job, who are not operating on the administrative side. Uh, and I said it low because this is kind of like the intro, right? Yeah, I mean, realistically, right, so, it's not bad. It's very manageable. But okay, I don't but think you just fine. said you want officers to work eight hours a day for seven days? Yeah, like a job. So eight hours a day for seven days, like a job. Okay, well, uh, well yeah, they could take one day off. Maybe have one of the other cops fill in for them. Like a That's schedule. Very generous, Mia. Is every single one of the charges attached to one of these points? Like every charge? No. The purpose of this is to target certain crimes. Right. So the so what I would say is then that is going to lead to people only targeting those crimes and letting other ones go by the wayside, thus negatively affecting the public and the civilians. Um. Good. I'm not not the negatively affecting the civilians part. Uh, I want them to focus on these crimes. That's why I came up with this. I'm just going to say sanitation robberies have been brought up to me uh, by countless citizens throughout the last week as being like a real issue. And, you know, when it comes to your repair costs, right, those workers getting robbed has downstream effects on the supply chain that are extremely negative mm. for officers. So I think focusing something like sanitation robberies is actually going to help you. Like the mayor is trying to help. Wait, is Man. sanitation robbery a charge? Uh, no, but if you catch someone robbing a sanitation worker, plus five quota points. Okay, right. but um, how many, I, I mean, for the last week, as you can see, we have dismantled, I would say, in excess of about 25, maybe even more, moonshine distilleries. So as we're curbing one crime, you guys are holding up a placard saying, oh, no, don't worry about the moonshine distilleries that you guys just got rid of. Solve we need this all done crime over here. Now. I, yes, I don't so think we get you... a point per still. Oh, hold, 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 hold on. What hold I'm on. trying Sorry, to say is thought. that <laughs> in my experience, crime rolls. There are highs and lows in every crime. When I was first hired, oh my goodness, marijuana everywhere. And so what did we do? We hunted out all the marijuana and then things changed. It went on to group six being robbed. Then it went on to sanitation being robbed. And we moved as a PD to every single one of them. So I think it's extremely unfair to say, well, last week sanitation were robbed. Well, yeah, they probably were, but we've just got rid of all of these moonshine distilleries. We, you know, we're, we're rolling as hard as we can when the crime comes up. Uh, I, I went and added uh, still destruction into the uh, the quota system or whatever. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. uh, 2.5 quota points. Nice. You guys could make up like half it right there. <laughs> yeah. Can we retroactively uh, initiate nope. this? Back like three years <laughs> no, ago? No, no, like, no, we'll no, hit it right now. No, no, no. Okay, so it, this will be for one instance. So if you find a bunch of stills together, uh, you know, that's only 2.5 points. That fucking sucks. Sounds yeah. like we're going to be lighting a, a lot of individual reports. Uh, 20 points two no. days ago. 
Well, I can't wait to review those individual reports and then find out you guys are trying to game my system and dock your pay again. <laughs> well, how many how many points do we need a, a week or a day? 50. 50 for a week. Between and the entire what, what PD, gets not in, individually. I mean, let's be honest. Seven times seven is 49. If you need 15 a week, that means you only have to get seven points a day. Some of those things are worth four points, which would only mean you would need like one or two other things. This is easy as fuck. Should we get like a big clock that we can put over the PD, like Hunger Games? That way we'll know when the timer starts and when it ends. <laughs> uh, oh God. It starts as soon as this uh, this meeting ends, whatever that time is. <laughs> Boom. Uh, any other questions? I, like, I, uh, Ruby, I understand the, the administrative concerns. I took that into account when I set the uh, the the bar for the thingy. You guys should be able to continue to administer yourself and have the cops that are on patrol right now achieve this goal at one hundred percent. Okay, but I don't see training a cadet as administrative. I don't see running a uh, academy, which we need to do either next weekend or the weekend after, as administrative. It's going to take a bunch of people off duty to train cadets. We have to grow the PD. There's there's no other way to curb crime in our city unless we grow the PD and we train people. I would really like to give like bonuses to people who do that shit. I know that I've heard I've heard from because my wife and I interviewed a bunch of cops, you know, as part of like the audit and stuff. And one, two, three, four. I, routinely, I suggested that like. Like FTOs get like a bonus as an incentive for Six, you know, training, blah blah blah. Seven, I put forward uh, eight, a request for FTO nine, bonuses ten months ago. Eleven. Yeah, I, I feel 12, like we're all on the same page. But 13, I, 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 heard, I, I heard from several 14. cops. They're like, you know, that it doesn't really doesn't really change anything for them. Well, if they're uh, if they knew their pay was getting docked, I guarantee you they would say that differently now. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm for <clears throat> handing out bonuses. Uh, it, so long as the time is logged and everything is above board, and we can prove that they were, you know, FTOing or running academy for a certain amount of time, then I would 100% be behind only three uh, people financial payment for them. Okay. Can I just say one more thing about the uh, the quota point system? Yeah. So you can do whatever you want, but we have calls in which there are hostages. Those will always be a priority for the PD. That's just the way our SOPs go. If there's a hostage involved, we're going to that call. Yeah. Probably a lot of units. So I don't know if that's set up as is, but that would be a good uh, middle ground for the PD to have those be on your quota system. Uh, robbery also. Well, I, look, we're not talking about every crime right now. These, these are the things I'm personally interested in seeing you guys solve. Okay. Or try to solve. Understood. Yeah, I went ahead and added uh, kidnapping f for one quota point. Okay. So have you have you seen? Do you have access currently to our, uh, you know, our incidents and reports? Not yet. I uh, we need to get that set up. So Modify, the I'll quota point is coming from. I suppose the easiest way I could say is blindness. Uh no, I mean I talk to cops all the time, I, and I talk to I talk to a lot of people on the street too. I'm the mayor. Uh, yes. we've been conducting uh midterm mayoral approval polls and getting people's feedback. Like this entire okay. like so last you, week so this is all like right really but you recent data right but you haven't had access to see how much work we currently do correct uh nope yeah. they have the audit reports right uh i don't think the audit focused on those so i, I have a question yeah what's up so uh, how is a uh, how, like how is a point determined i might have missed this coming in from 70 years ago but how's uh, a point determined and, and who is a point awarded to a person Whoever, whoever no, to the, to, to the L, to the LSPD. Okay, okay, good. Uh, and they're awarded by incident. So you know, if someone is doing a sanitation robbery and they have a an illegal gun, uh, you would award the highest point for that incident, which would be sanitation robbery, which is five points. Okay, simple. And you only need fifty a week. Uh, fifty-five. Now I added a couple of charges or whatever at your guys's request. What, what is the base? You get do you get one each? sort of thing i'm interested in seeing uh pursued right now by the lspd is worth a different amount of points but does it does the lowest that you can get is one uh, uh the lowest you can get is 0 0.1 for a traffic citation oh oh shit. okay yeah mm -hmm. so so this coming week we won't be bothered with any kind of traffic we'll just be going for the higher points yes <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> yes uh any other questions on this wait so I just want to clarify, is this to curb you yourself, Mayor, from getting traffic citations? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Okay.
Wait, can I just ask? You were given one earlier this week, right? Yeah. It was uh, negligent driving. Did our pay get rise before or after Bones gave you that ticket? Uh, your pay got lowered after I got that ticket. Okay. Why? <laughs> I was just asking. Are you just asking? I'm just curious. I'm a curious guy, you know? Well, it's a very specific thing to be curious about. How so? Kind of a pointy question, isn't it? Know. Yeah, I think it's, know, it's like you're implying something about me. What am I implying? I don't know that I might be corrupt. Did I even hint at that? Yeah. Asking you a question is hinting at corruption? Uh, asking me a question about retaliating against you guys for issuing me a traffic citation is hinting that I am corrupt, yes. It's asking for, you know, facts in order when they occur in time. Oh, well, I mean, that's a very specific fact to be concerned about. That, that's all. I mean, there's a lot of other facts concerning the amount of power. I uh, didn't ask about those. I could have found a pain point that he is blatantly oh, corrupt and is obvious. PD, which we've been going pretty in detail today, I would say. Okay. Well, I mean, file mm -hmm. it away in your, your dossier about impeaching Max the mayor and mm -hmm. wipe your ass with it because I haven't seen shit yet from you guys. Okay. Well, we don't need to go get ugly. Mm hmm. It's crazy uh, you seem to have an issue with the fact we're trying to work with you, despite the fact we disagree with you sometimes. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and, and let's be entirely clear. The only people I need to work with in this room on this stuff is Ruby and Baron. Uh, you guys are hearing this as a courtesy. This power is the mayor's, and it will remain the mayor's. And nothing you guys say to me will ever make me want to change my mind unless I am genuinely interested in hearing your input. This is to the council. Um, but yeah. I, I, I'm going to write up a, a full dossier on the uh, the quota system. Should be easy to achieve. Uh, we can talk more about uh, bonuses for training. Having to teach someone from the bottom up again and again and again, saying the same things over and over and over to different people. And, oh, God. Would love to see a, a bounty for that that you guys can collect on. <clears throat> For FTO uh, sessions? Just training in general, like academies, okay. FTOs, mm. all, all that shit. I, I will send it to uh, Ruby and Barrick, the uh, the full breakdown of the quota system. And, uh, you know, uh, if, if you guys have any uh, good questions or concerns moving forward, like, this isn't something that has to be amended at council. So if if you guys come to me with, like, a good point that you would like to see it adjusted in a certain way, then I'm more than willing to talk about it. The cost has gone down. Okay. So I got to go check on that. Well, it's, uh, it's going to go it goes down because we typically want to keep the fines larger than like a license cost or like yep. or, you know, just okay. straight up buying it. Right. To, to incentivize buying it as opposed to stealing it. Right. 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 An actual yeah. deterrent. And I wrote very briefly here because I, I, I was so tired that I, I couldn't aptly and legally write a good little penal code blurb about this. I said, including turbos, transmissions, and other sorted aftermarket parts, uh, you know, to cover it. The, anyone who's worked on a car has seen that there's definitely, there are other ways to modify and improve cars that uh, that Mosley's just hasn't stocked for yet. So this would kind of future-proof any other forms of larceny of an aftermarket vehicular part. Boom. Okay. I think we serialize weapons, and I think that's probably the only thing we need to serialize. Unless something that comes up that- I mean, right now, it, there's, there's no way- I think we just leave it at that. Right now, there's no way to track them. Okay. What's up, coin? What? Uh, I mean, I was just gonna say, it, it, when it comes to investigating this shit, not having those serialized makes it damn near impossible. Yeah. How do you prove that? Yeah. How do you prove stolen? it's stolen if, you, if it's yeah. not if it's not identifiable? Uh, but I, I, I do, I do think Judge issue. Crane is is you know, he's one hundred percent right about where, when do you stop. But at the same time, for this particular case, we've had so well, many civilians having this shit happen to them, and it just feels bad. You know, okay, let me so ask. You, you got to catch them in the act. Do some yeah. proactive yeah, policing. This, this is not, it's not really okay. something we can handle either way. We don't manufacture the parts, so. Okay. Malton's not here. Cantor, do you have anything you want to present? Uh, I wasn't able to work on my presentation because I just haven't been around much, but I did have something, an idea for a charge uh, that I haven't really plotted out time fine. I'll be honest, I'm just not the professional on that, so I'll defer to y'all. This was a suggestion from one of my doctors, um, committing violent acts on government property. So it wouldn't supersede the violent acts, it would just be an extra charge for having done it on government property. So we're running into an issue where the clowns especially are just going around fucking beating each other up and stabbing people in the hospital and other people are getting uh, hurt for it and it's causing significant issues. So the uh, that that's the pitch essentially, kind of like a an extra charge for having it be there. Not too big of a thing. It's not like medical terrorism. It's not like medical discontinuity or something. Just a 
you know, uh, don't fuck around here or you'll get punished a bit more. Something to get them to stop. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is true they because to, like, like PD grounds and stuff like they were running okay. through the emergency room and in the halls with wrenches out attacking cops trying to break mm -hmm. out another one of the clowns that was in custody the other night. Mm hmm. And it's been mm -hmm. happening quite often. Yeah. Doesn't need to be some giant thing um, where it's like, you know, days and days in prison. Just, uh, you know, like a, the, the pitch was essentially just discourage it as kind of like a middle ground there. Mm -hmm. I could go either way on it, but I figured I'd pitch it to see how y'all feel about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's better than going as hard as some of the charges we've had in the past for committing violent acts uh, in the hospital lighter thing that I think people could actually push if we just did something like this uh, is is my thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. So patients are actually being injured while the clowns are <clears throat> clowning around? Uh, I don't think nice. patients yet. Um, doctors, yes, already. Uh, that one obviously could apply to like, you know, uh, to other charges and things. Does the Ego but... Act sort of cover that if they're injuring doctors? Mm -hmm. If they're going after doctors, yes. The, the issue is... um recently uh clowns have been choosing the hospital for everything they are attacking each other in and outside of the hospital uh, all the time and causing significant issues for for just everyone <laughs> yeah a lot of the people that are hurt um are kind of collateral damage so i don't know if that yeah. could actually be pushed i know it's it's kind of like they're not they're, no one's being targeted um other than more clowns, they're just bringing it all to the hospital and fucking with uh, everyone else who's there. Is this part of the clown games? Just out of curiosity, do you know? No, I don't believe so. I think okay. it's just them being them. Just being them being them and choosing yeah, the hospital yeah, because, much, yeah. hey, if I get fucked up, I'm in the best place for it. Sounds like that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, if it, like I said, uh, it, this was not my additional idea. If y'all uh, aren't a fan of it, that's okay, but I uh, I do think it's a better middle ground. Uh, it's a dissuasion from people fucking around at the hospital without fucking their lives over completely. If they other people voice your thoughts. Sorry, so I want to double check. You're, you're suggesting oh, sorry, like a yeah. charge, not like diet terrorism or whatever, or medical discontinuity, no. but something mm -hmm. that just is like if you're committing but, uh, yeah. violence on hospital grounds repeatedly. Uh, the, or the what? idea was government grounds. Okay. So uh, any government property. No, there's like felony trespassing, but there's not. But they're not trespassing if they're, like, outside right. of MRPD or in the hospital, you know, unless they're trespassing. But they're still on government property committing but a violent still act. still on government property, yeah. Uh, well, I don't I, think I, I that talking. addressing everything with a, a law fixes it. I think no, that there I, are... I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I for this particular crime, these things are so expensive and in demand that I think the, co the cost of operation for someone to have a gun and go to Mosley's and get away with this crime, or just a knife even. They don't even need a gun to make a mechanic try to pull this shit out. I, I think you could charge them with, uh, what, like, a fucking aggravated robbery or some shit? What, what would what would the most applicable charge be right now? Are you still talking about the turbo? Wait, are you still talking about the turbo? We moved on to another oh, topic, if you were. Sorry. I don't know if you oh. could hear us either, probably. So, no, 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 I was I was writing. <laughs> sorry, oh, guys. no, no, no. <laughs> you're, you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Cantor was, talk, was talking about, like, aggravated violence on government property. And if we yeah, essentially oh. another charge Clans are for fucking around at the Just ego act them, right? That's what I was saying, they, but... That was the issue, is that they're not targeting anyone. Um, They just are fucking around too much type thing. <laughs> it's not really the ego act. They're choosing to take their little clown fuck around games at the hospital. They also the city hall if they do fuck shit here, trying to like uh, tag you here, another modifier. In the past, when we had people fuck around too much, uh, but we don't want to ban people who need access to the hospital from getting it no, right. Of course. We had forced yeah, somebody. That's the thing. Like, we want trespassing to be very uh, less. Yeah, we had forced gotcha. uh, people to um, essentially not be at the hospital unless they had a real medical need to be there and to not interact with doctors right otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we do that. I just don't want to make it the business of unnecessarily trespassing people who aren't causing issues for us, right? Like, um, like as, as doctors directly, when they're more causing issues to the general public who are trying to come get help. Like, you know, we, we'd end up having a giant fucking trespass list that can never really be enforced because we can't do anything about it. We have to wait for the cops to come. And oftentimes the cops don't come. And even if they, you know, do by that time, they would have already left. Like, it doesn't... Uh, the issue isn't that we don't want them there. We just don't want them 
attacking people, which is why the charge. Thinking what? I only have the TMNT act. You guys went over everything last time, correct? We we tabled a couple of things. Yeah, I think, we right? actually tabled stuff. Yeah. They're all not approved and not removed. So I'm assuming you guys went over it. Uh, the DNA on file. We ended up amending the constitution, uh, mm. but not upon ending of employment with the PD as long as you're like in good standing when you leave. But we did not add any additional government employees. No, that's fine. That was like I, I remember that was, that was right. Workers. That was the main yeah. thing for that exactly. Yeah. Murphy's law. Yeah, and then um, the death penalty one uh, still tabled because Kanchan and I didn't have a chance to work out like doctor mm -hmm. specifics and trying to just. I'll be around a lot more. We'll get that done. I Sounds promise. good. All right. If anything was everything was talked about, then I guess the TMNT Act is basically to prevent people from going to the sewers because they are causing damages to utility. Basically, is this stemming from that town hall? Oh, that one from yeah. Which one? When remember when the explosions? Uh, the one that uh, you, me, and uh, Shafan. Uh, did. Oh yeah, well yes, yeah. it's, it's one of them. Yeah, um, I don't really. The whatever. amount of people putting stills down there, they can't seem to figure out how to. Do their own fucking job. Yeah, he wants to prevent people from going into the cause, cause damages. So, and they shouldn't be in the sewers in the first place, unless they have a valid reason. Yeah, what would constitute a valid reason to be down there? Utility uh, workers. Job. Yeah, utility job, work related. Okay. People can role play. I like that. Are the uh, how much is the fine for this? Well, so the thing is, we don't have a specific. So we, Shivan and I talked about when it just being felony uh, trespass. It does say in here the penalties for unlawful yeah, sex. Would, would you be able to do that though? I mean, I don't know, too who who owns the sewer infrastructure? It's the government, right? Government. Yes. Yeah. So it's felony trespassing. Are you guys gonna put together yeah, an yeah. elite sewer unit? I've been down there. It's rough. Oh no, not in this. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do that for weeks. It's fucking rough down there. I'm yeah, I don't know you. if we want. I don't know if yeah. we want PD or anyone to like go specific in the sewers, but just having a reason. Catching like, them coming yes, out. Yes, catching, catch them going in and out. Ooh, yeah. You mm. just sit above a manhole, man. There's one. There's mm -hmm. one. Uh, I saw. I saw a bunch of these motherfuckers crawl out of the Ooh. across from Roy Lowenstein like cockroaches. Yeah. One, yeah, one right at the other way. Yeah, right across. Yeah, from you do yeah, like you do in your garage. backyard with gophers. You sit above the hole and you smoke them out and chop their heads off with a shovel. Oh my god. Yeah, it'd be great. Except like, you probably legally should not chop their heads off with a shovel. Oh, we'll, That's probably we'll not on that one. Yeah. I think that at first people were scared that this wasn't legal in the first place. When they realized that that wasn't the case, they become very lazy. They just leave. Yeah. Uh, they, they opened the fucking potholes. People could fall down. Uh, all all types types of shit. They shouldn't be going down there in the first place. Oh, yeah. right. They don't even try to hide the shit. It's unhygienic. Um, it's too crazy. I'll let you it's also there. horrifically unsafe down there. I did some testing I'll leave on it on things uh, early on, uh, and there it's radioactive down there uh, and can cause extreme significant health uh, issues if they're not wearing appropriate clothing, which I fucking doubt most civilians are. Yeah, we mm -hmm. actually will not let any PD person down there without full coverage. Yep. Yeah, I've seen people come out of the stores with some wild shit on that's unsafe to be wearing. Mm -hmm. You get that, that flesh-eating bacteria. Slowly oh, kill God. them, even if they yeah. feel fine at first. Hey, they might even start to feel a bit better, but it will slowly wear away at their insides and cause one of the worst and they, deaths imaginable. So, uh, yeah, brain -eating amoeba. making it illegal is a good idea. Well, I guess we don't really have to do much. If they can just be charged with felony trespassing, I guess that's yes, fine. Yes, honestly, that's perfect. Fuck it, yeah. Um, I feel like the enforcement the mechanism... mechanism. I don't know, Crane, could you add? So right now it says includes power plants. Is that still the case? Like, are people not allowed near the power plants? I guess it's still uh, government land, isn't it? So maybe. Wait, I do not think utility? that you should be running around, you know, public utilities and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Could you add the sewer system to it just so it's a, as a node or do you... So people can't fight the cops on it? Uh, nah, I'll let them sue for it. All right. Okay, fuck it. And then some other judge can figure it out. Sounds good. That's delegation, baby. <laughs> Man, it also allows for things to come to me naturally instead of me just waving the wand. I think that's a, the only thing I have. Uh, let's see here. Uh, did Alan say if he had anything? I got two things. First, uh, I am concerned about uh, some things I've been seeing uh, related to. Well, what I have affectionately uh, coined as a uh, a debt reservoir. There are certain criminal elements and or independent operators who seek to sort of live outside of society's constraints. And I've noticed that that behavior is cropping up again. So people are going to flaunt uh, the government by 
being in debt permanently and never caring about getting out of debt well then maybe we'll figure out a way for them to get out of debt i was actually so going i'm going to, to uh yeah i'm gonna look that into that business. we're gonna see uh, about maybe making some changes to how that all works yeah, yeah when we yeah, were just okay. talking about the clowns actively going into monumental debt uh should have repercussions absolutely it should well the government will be fetching their fair coin so we'll see how that goes yeah Cletus. how do you want us to approach that situation as a pd because uh, have... it's it's not at that level yet we're i'm just i'm giving the council fair notice that i recognize there's an issue there and the doj is looking into solutions with the government okay uh also, uh, in for, terms for the... of you know the future that 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 takes time so you guys want it you guys won't have to change how you operate at all Cletus, not at all. Send okay. them to prison, and then they're, you know, if they're in debt, we will see about that. Longer. Yeah, we will Ooh, see how it's gonna how it's gonna work out. Gotcha. Uh, okay. But we, it is something that we recognize as an like issue, that. and it is being uh, looked at. All right. Uh, my second one, which uh, I think most people have already discussed with me somewhat, uh, is the expungement amendment. I recognize that. Uh, initially our scheme was to proffer the expungement arrangement uh, but it was contingent upon a high monetary sacrifice because there was no you know there was there was no time time limit uh, you could just you could just come in murder eight cops the day before slap down a huge amount of money and you're you know you're you're clean and i recognize who that targets but i think that we should probably also target the other side of the equation the other outliers right for people who truly did mess up and are looking for a second chance and not only are looking for a second chance but have demonstrated uh for a long period of time that they are living that second chance whether or not we offer them the deal or not and that you know point to me is somewhere around 30 days so if someone were to be crime free then i i could very much understand that the, you know this is the type of person who truly tried to turn their life around they're not just gonna you know well gosh what what random scenario could i come up with they're just not gonna pay five hundred thousand dollars to run for mayor you know these are people that truly you know made a change greg idiot whatever greg, fucking yeah. greg yeah so either way basically the parameters i came up with are pretty simple i put them in there if you guys have ideas on tweaking anything i just threw this together in like two minutes talking to siobhan the other day so the idea was if you've been clean greater than 30 days, the lower rate on your first time is 50 instead of 500, 100, you know, 153rd time. And this lower rate can only be used every 30 days. So if you get an expungement and you fuck it up and you want to just like get clean again, uh, it's not the 30 days again. It's it's a longer time period. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I have no objections to the what you have written. Uh, in fact, I think it's really great. Edda, do you have anything? Actually, I do have. We I did have another thing that is still a work in progress, so don't mind it. It is the Turf uh, Act. If you guys have any ideas or anything for it, feel free to add, talk, voice your opinion. Right now it's rough, so don't even... Basically, it is to prevent people from bunkering down wherever the fuck they want and then telling people to fuck off and saying, like, if you go on my turf, I will kill you. Oh, that's... That is, or that is like a, when like... I got oh, yeah. robbed just walking to the clothing store. Yeah, kind I of. think uh, it was initially started when um, Siobhan was doing this scavenger hunt. Uh, oh, yeah. And people were being threatened that they would be murdered if they went on a Chumash pier. What? Yeah. Well, we know, we know oh. it's called a murder pier, but it's still kind you know. of, you know. Yeah, but by a right. gang that said, yes, this is our yes. territory and you can't go on there or we will kill you. Usually uh, they wait till you get like on the pier, it, yeah. then they murder you. Okay, when I put the signs up, by the way, all right, they weren't there. So I, I didn't realize that that was going to be a problem. Yeah, I wasn't no, trying course, to. Yeah. yeah. But they, they shouldn't be doing it either way, so that's not on you to. Anything else, uh, Chief of Staff? Uh, are we gonna do the um? Sh should I wait on the incest one or no? Yeah, that one's tabled for now. Okay, tabled for now. Um, no, unless you want to present the uh, unauthorized business infractions. Yep, that's the last thing that I would like to present. Uh, in preparation for eventually having the federal government say, "Hey, all of those businesses you've approved are approved, and they can start operating." Uh, in preparation for that, we are going to have a charge for operating an unlicensed business, um, and it is very expensive because the business license is fifty thousand. Uh, I settled on seventy-five thousand as a fine for doing it to incentivize people actually seeking out and operating uh, legally within Los Santos uh, for the purpose of allowing the state to retrieve its sales tax. <clears throat> Um, it's in there under operating an unlicensed business. Any opposers? Question mark. I have questions, but I am initially not opposed. 
Questions. Uh, does social media postings, i.e. the yellow pages, count? If someone puts up, hey, come to, you know, whatever their business name is, is uh, for this amenity, repair, food, whatever. So here's, it's not a licensed business, sorry. Here's what I wrote for the penal blurb. Uh, I wrote, henceforth it is, it is now uh, illegal to claim to own or operate a business within Los Santos without an officially administered business license. This does not include the food stalls present in the Senior Buns Mall. The appropriate permit for such will suffice. <clears throat> so yeah, it would be illegal for people to say on Twitter that they own a business. Okay. Uh, Ruby. Uh, is there any chance we could also include charities like an unlicensed charity <laughs> I'll, I'll explain we uh we come across a lot of people that are doing charity work yeah no non-profits yeah yeah you can yeah uh, sorry that's a hard no for me no yeah, non-profits yeah. ever how about unlicensed lotteries I like I like if people lotteries. are dumb enough if people are dumb enough to buy into it then fucking, <laughs> yeah fuck hey. into that one all there's right. no contract. There's no nothing. You're just buying a ticket. If you, hey, I'm I wait for the day when somebody runs with all the money because there's nothing protecting these people. Understood. Right now we'll focus on uh, businesses. Got it. Um. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I actually had something else. Um, uh, uh. Yeah. So, uh, but first, do we have any names for this uh business uh, uh, unlicensed business charge? No, I think that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I marked it as a misdemeanor because I don't think this should. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't if think they, it's they want to make yeah their business legitimate. Exactly. It, but, uh, how do we? Uh, no, uh, my 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 hesitation is how do we ensure that uh, we don't run into like the lemonade stand problem? What do you mean? Mm. Meaning like you know when typically when you write laws like these right, and it's just anyone running a business without a license. Uh, that gives police grounds to, you know, bill someone running a lemonade stand seventy five thousand dollars. <laughs> so what I'm what I'm getting at is, do we want to like, how do we not allow that to happen? Uh, we can we can uh, we can have it in the SOPs that they're warned one time before that they're issued this license. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'd be uh, good. Yeah, Fine. and then you you mark the warning down on their uh, their profile or whatever. Yeah, one so mulligan. The mechanics mm -hmm. that kind of work. Uh, 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 how do I even word it? Um, that so you know, I guess like contractors. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, like mm -hmm. since they're still technically through mm -hmm. Mosley's, but they're mm -hmm. not advertising as their own entity, but they are conducting business mm -hmm. not on Mosley's property. Would that still count? Or so like Finley Milton on his like yeah. advertisements or whatever. Yeah, well, well, I know. There's I mean, they tons should of probably just get a business kind of license. Yeah. Places. Yeah. Some Unless are like outright offering... businesses that are advertising, mm -hmm. and some of them are like, "Hey, if you need a repair, come to." This yeah, place. offering it's handyman yeah. services is one thing, uh, but informal, mm. I guess. But it sounds uh, like they should just get a business license if they're doing all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it ultimately, it comes down to the uh, the LSPD's ability to mm -hmm. articulate that someone is attempting to operate an unlicensed mm -hmm. business. Got it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, any opposers? Question mark. The uh, the turbo law was everyone yay, me nay, right? Mm. I I believe so. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, no more. Uh, I wrote up some penal language in the uh, operating an unlicensed business one. You can modify that in a better way, Alan. If you think it needs to be modified. Uh, I sh pretty sure that's it, lads. Uh... Pretty sure that's it. Oh wait! Yeah, yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, how are we adjusting that again? Not sure. I wanted to talk to everybody and brainstorm about it because there's currently a loophole in the adoption policy for like daisy chaining adoptions. Oh right. Yeah. Mm. What, what's what the do you mean? loophole? Yeah. What do you mean? So, um, uh, an example, right? I could adopt Michael. Michael can adopt Edda. Edda can adopt Crane. Crane can adopt Alex, Alex can adopt Cantor, and so on and so forth. And now you've extended a weird, let's say they're all, it's, however it's adopted, right? However it is. Now you have this like weird, especially if it was siblings, right? Now you have this like yeah, weird sort of good? like extended. Yeah. What? Yeah, let them be freaks, but they, how much would they would have paid by that point? That's, okay, hey, that's actually a really it. good point. 
Yeah, don't we want we? that? We want that delusional shit. shit. No. It was the money we, generation? We, no? we, we don't want that because the part of the reason why I even conceived this to begin with is because it, uh, it, it, it encourages like a another layer of hidden retaliation potentially between two parties that would otherwise be solved like for example police department arrest somebody like billy bob joe but he's got a secret fake relative that's gonna come and fucking slit that cop's throat shit like that uh it, it, it convolutes and uh what well, muddies conflicts like on the street too between people <clears throat> so no we don't we don't want the the daisy chaining <clears throat> You're saying like mass relations. Right, so there, it's deterred, but. In the streets, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean. So, what is the uh, pro uh, proposed change? I don't know. <laughs> I, sure, I, fix I, it. Mean, I mean, also, wouldn't a judge just deny you? Because to, to, to make the daisy chain work, you'd have to claim that you were like the great grandson of so-and-so and that person's you these your same age or even younger than you potentially seems kind of dumb it does say uh the system does not recognize grandchildren or other mm -hmm. sort of familiar relations grandchildren right but those like external ones rather than say a sibling one yeah, the chain uh, wouldn't work then right i feel like the chain would still work with siblings yeah, but siblings so, aren't adoption. Uh, uh, people do around here. Uh, so I was what? under the understanding... That's been that approved? I was under the... <laughs> I don't think they have uh, under the new system, but in the past they sure as hell have. So I was under the understanding that uh, the adoption policy applied to adopting any type of family member because people do that shit all the time. They adopt yeah, someone as their parent, child, they right? adopt it someone was, as their, as their uncle as or whatever. Versus adoptee. Yeah. yeah. I can't can't people just buy each other matching bracelets or something? That's what I'm fucking saying, but no, people care uh, about it for some reason. And I uh, charge them for caring about it. Let's get a round of applause for the chief of staff. Uh, that's really unnecessary, but thank you. Woo! All right, Yippee. um, let me just pull this up real fast. Okay, so TLDR, uh, the mayor is dissatisfied with performance and is incentivizing PD performance with the quota system. There is a target of, looks like he adjusted this from 50 to 55, 55 quota points in a week to earn a pay raise by 5%. There is a breakdown of quota points for different specific charges, with adoption fraud being worth the most at 10 quota points. Sanitation robbery, if you are able to get that charged, is 5 quota points. Criminal possession of a firearm is 4. Money laundering is three. A destruction of a still, 2.5 quota points. Kidnapping, one. Bootlogging, one. Joyriding, half a quota point. And traffic citation is 0.1 quota points. 0.1 for traffic stops? So you want so how much a week? 55 points. <laughs> and, that's, and, and that's for the whole PD, right? <laughs> Yeah. This is okay. across the entire, oh, okay. across the oh, entire say, police department. No, not, not <laughs> per individual. No, no, no. no. We're trying to set you up for success. Shit. Wait, so it's it's 55 points for how many levels in the battle pass? One. Not a battle pass. Is it a 5% pay? Three. It sounds like a battle pass. Sounds like Three if weeks. I don't make quota, I lose my job. Can I uh, buy extra levels for the battle pass? Fortnite. You guys, don't worry. You know, that's a great suggestion, Declan. I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to, I'm going to spitball that with the deputy mayor after this. Can you buy Wait. a multiplier for your actions? So, you know, instead of 0.1 for a traffic stop, it becomes 0.2 now. With what money? No, no, no. Traffic citations will continue to be point what, one quota points. Can it be, be double like on the weekend? You pay for it. Guys, don't worry about it. If you have Chatterbox on your scene, just, just, just call me up, and he'll probably admit to adoption fraud times ten again. Don't worry uh, about it. Uh, I have a, I have a question. Uh, okay. Chief of Staff. Sure. Sensei you Hulk. have been driven recently, have you? No. Why? No, I haven't. Okay. A, a follow up question. These, uh, these points. Let's say I arrest someone for, like what Bay said, 10, 10 charges of adoption fraud. Does that mean that we meet quota instantly? So something like the Chatterbox scenario? No, you only get the maximum, and it's just for one. So if you have one person with six counts, you're only going to get the 10 quota points for the one like one adoption fraud. You're not going to get it a 10 for all of each six. So it's per okay. suspect, not per incident? A bit of both. Okay. 
No, so no, let me no, just hold, say, what? let me just hold on, hold on, hold on, let me back mm-hmm. up. So if you have somebody who is, let's say you stop somebody in a sanitation robbery who also has criminal possession of a firearm, right? So it would seem like it's five quarter points and four quarter points for a total of nine. Uh, no, that is not how the quarter points will work. It will be just whatever is the higher one. So it would just be the five quarter points. Does so that... major per incident, okay. So each arrest can score up to five points. Ten, technically, because of the adoption fraud. Okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, so what, what if you have like an incident with like eight suspects? That's a good question. We'll have to. There should be more points, that. right? Because it's harder to catch eight people yeah. than six. It should be. It should be like per suspect, per incident, not per per suspect. Now, when you say eight suspects, incident. like eight suspects committed what crime, though, based on what I've stated already? What? So, like, say like, robbery, like sanitation robbery, and there's like it eight of them. Sounds sounds like it was per incident. I don't know. I mean, that really wouldn't make sense. Lenny, I feel like you feel like you're reading between Your intuition is so great, We Lenny. shouldn't make assumptions, Lenny, son. Our wisdom makes us prevail in these times. That's, that's just what she said, Lenny, that Lenny, it was Lenny, per Lenny, incident. Is, don't speak out of line. You know, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure on those details, but I'll be sure to get the right answer and get back to you, lads. I would need to inform you with enough information. When, when is this being... Well, this was implemented right at the end of the council meetings when the timer started for that. Um, so there's a uh, timer, and we've only just found out. Uh, Incentivize better performance, um, and to assist with the incentivization, uh, pay was reduced by 10%, and income tax was also <laughs> no, reduced no. to 2 Hell. by 2 per- Income tax was reduced by like 2, uh, whatever, down to 2%, so it's really like a 98% total of what she walked out. Wait, so wait, hold on. Wait, 10 wait, hold on. Minus, this happened again. 10 minus 2. I'm just saying that that's minus what the... 8. 10 minus 2 minus 8 minus 90. Lenny, oh. Lenny, Lenny. Uh, Lenny. Let him cook. Let him cook. Hold on. Why do we need a pay reduction to be incentivized with this program? The program is designed to incentivize by default. People go off duty to go make money because we don't make enough money on duty. Oh, can yeah, you give me the names? Sense. Who are those people doing that? No, babe. Uh, who's, who's, so wait, who's wait, doing that? Can I get their names? Who, who is doing no. that? I'm curious. <laughs> hey, just do that. Hey, just do that shit while you're on duty. Um, I'm, yeah. oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. What's her? Uh, was it Graves? Officer Graves said that they're just finding out this about this now. Nakoda, Ruby, Ambaric, we're all in the meeting. So I'm not sure why you're just finding out about it now. It feels like uh, somebody should have communicated that information downstream. I apologize that I'm the first person who's come well, here to inform you all. Um, I would have done that sooner if I had realized that uh, downstream communication would not have occurred. Well, to, to be fair, Ms. Siobhan, uh, uh-huh. this, would be the, this would be the time and place to, to let people know. I was under yeah, the impression yeah. that an announcement was going to be made uh, in the MDT for you all. So again, I am I'm really sorry. I, I, I thought that there was going to be something done to inform you. I did not realize this was the first time you were hearing about this. Um, and just to go back on the pay, so you're at, let's say, 100% of pay. Pay was reduced by 10%. Okay, however, 10%. however, the income tax that was prior 10 was reduced to 2%. Am- so you only, uh, instead of that tax, so you're only uh, having your total pay reduced by 2% right now. So 98%. 2%? No, no, it's being reduced no, by 2%, so you're at 98%. Yes, Nin- the pay was reduced, but you're also getting money back on the income tax being lowered. N- 98% of what I was making before? Yes, 98% of what you are making before. What am I going to do with those extra $30 gone? I got kids to feed, man! Yeah, uh, I, did, I did the math. Uh, it's $36 oh, an hour. Yeah, $36 an hour? $36? That is one less hamburger. <laughs> For hour. That's less money for my daughter's tuition. Are you telling me I need to manage my finances and proceed carefully so that I have everything planned out instead of just spending money whenever I want? Fuck yeah, that! I mean, no! If you need help with financial <laughs> literacy and budgeting, I have a lot of calculators and tools that I can offer you for free to help you budget. No. Siobhan, can I ask a question about the quota stuff? Sure. I did have a clarifying question, but I'll, I'll, I'll save the list before I ask this. Alright. Good enough. Wait, what is lame? Oh, uh, that is stealing turbos. What? That should be five. I'm gonna be honest. That should be five. That is actually, I would, I would go as far as that should be like ten, because that that's borderline impossible to actually catch someone doing, and it it is the highest impact crime in the city by like per dollar. It's against other people, like not against some damn bullshit corporation like a laundromat. 
So Liam is this larceny of aftermarket motor enhancements. It is a uh, new felony that we have that the council just passed today. That is, yeah, so turbos, transmissions, or whatever, etc. It is applicable for each aftermarket enhancement that was taken. So if a transmission and a turbo was taken, it's two felonies. It's thirty six dollars, honey. So that's I the full list, correct? Live on this. When is that no, going to be in the two group six? Well, hold on, hold on. I, I I had asked an initial question, so that that's that's the full list, correct? Just double check and make sure that this matches everything that I was looking at. Yeah, that's the full list. I'm working two cases right now, both involving trying to locate and find somebody who's suspected of attempted first degree murder. Say this case takes me three weeks to do. Is there any recognition for the time and effort I put into that? No, there's no murder. According there's to the no sheet, robbery. it looks like my my work is null and void. No uh, your work still think... matters. You're still doing your job as an officer. You know it. Well, yeah, but according to the quota, I wouldn't be doing enough. So I, I feel the the issue I'm looking at right now, and and this is my only point of contingency I have with this, is that this looks like it would more promote quantity, not quality. Oh, would God. it promote quantity when there's only a limited number of quota points that you even need to reach at the 55? It is to incentivize I, I, I crimes would... that are a problem, according to the mayor. Sanitation robberies are a huge problem. You want to talk about PD repairs costing a lot? It's because well, of this. Because fucking material prices are through the roof, so parts go up because nobody is stopping the sanitation robberies. We're trying to help you. Help us help no, you. No, that, that's, that's, that's fair. But I'm going to be moving on from adoption fraud for somebody who attempted to take someone's life. And I would say that that makes more recognition than 10 quota points for adoption. Well, Do you think on. the quota points are going to be hard to fill? I don't think they're going to be hard to fill, but I think if we're going based on the recognition, mm. would you not agree that attempted first means a lot more? Is, okay, I think the... I, I've dealt with four cases in the last, like, two weeks. Oh, my God. They, you're telling me that the mayor's office might be wrong on what's rampant? I think they might have not have the information or receive. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say this is an attempted first degree murder and you've been working on it for three weeks? I'm working on one right now that just started about a week ago. Person's in the ICU. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, unfortunately, until I get a chance to speak with that person, there's, no, there's not much to really proceed with that case. There's people I could talk to, there's things I can do, but I'm not going to discuss And the doctors don't my... have any estimate on when this person might be able to be out of ICU to have a discussion? So you might have just... Oh, okay. All right, well, I was going to say, you're going to hit the statute of limitations, and with the 30 days, you're already at three weeks, and I haven't woken up yet. No, I have about three weeks left, but I, my, the, the, the point I'm making is, while I understand the, the purpose of think that for an officer like myself who is planning on spending many hours on multiple subpoenas... Uh, and multiple interrogations, for me to personally find ways to make that quota right now, I'm not going to be in a lot of situations for traffic citations. I'm going to be in interrogation rooms. I think that time spent is more valuable than meeting a quota. But I, I understand the purpose of this, but you do, do you at least see where I'm coming from? It, it's First of all, it's, it's not per officer. It's the entire PD only has to hit 55 quota points. So I feel like you're misunderstanding. Right? So I'm not, if, I don't think I'm misunderstanding. No, you're fine. I, I don't think I'm misunderstanding. I'm just saying for those officers that are doing that work, does that not kind of work against the system? What What is the purpose of the quota system? What, what purpose is it? Mm -hmm. Control the PD. To incentivize the issues that people have brought to the mayor and myself over the past couple of weeks that they think are issues since we represent the will of the people. I don't think most people are going to come forward and state that attempted first degree murder, though, is an inherent issue. I don't people think who are going to figure matter should take three weeks to investigate. Well, to be fair, it's been about three I'm weeks gonna refrain... since, since Tessa stabbed me in the throat. I'm, I, I am going to refrain from comments Somebody. on that because I do think that that's a big level of disrespect to the people that are injured. I, I think inherently what people are going to see are traffic citations, joyriding, things that you see every day. I don't think attempted first degree murder you see every day. Blob, when was the last time you went to senior month? I was about to say, I'm like, are you no, I'm kidding playing. me? I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I mean, okay, I'm just going to say it. All right. <laughs> just Speak. Great. We lost $36 an hour. $36 an hour can $36 my ass. an hour! L Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Lenny, relax. Lenny. It's 36. It's only 36 left. $36 an hour can kiss my ass, okay? But I understand the, the reverse side of the issue is not that we only lost $36 an hour. It's about the trend in an economy in which it seems as if the rest of the city is... Uh, progressing and keeping in line with inflation and then people are, are you know obviously upset about that given that you want to have an actual life outside of being as part of the pd okay i think that's pretty pretty reasonable that's a pretty reasonable assessment of the entire situation these 55 points i could wipe my ass with these 55 points and get it in a week or in a day by myself okay i, I think 55 oh, yeah. points is going to be easy as shit to hit we do that for one week 
show the what? city council that we actually do our jobs, and then they're going to fix our pay, right? What? Yeah, what happens if we meet this quota, huh? Your pay didn't increases by 5% each week that you continue to hit it. Wait. What if we go past I'll, 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 I'll play devil's advocate real, real quick. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry, so you're doing it, the it, It's no, not, 90, 98 plus 5 is... Lenny, stop. Lenny, please. I don't want to have 378. 103. 103. 105 103. sounds like it. Wait, so we're going to go raise? If you do this, yes, you will get a raise. Oh! Yeah. These are clear, yeah, we'll actionable goals me. that you can I... meet in order to get more money. Most people would call this as a path, uh, a very transparent forward path to growth. With all due respect, I, I, I mean, I see you're playing a little bit of a numbers game here. You give it a, a widespread, you know, tax reduction on income, but reduce ours. So technically, I mean, it's still a 10% cut because it is, it is a global change. It's not like, oh, well, we gave just you an income tax reduction. And then a pay reduction on top. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, that's that's the inflation shit I was talking about. Yeah. So that's it's reasonable that people are you know obviously they don't they don't feel good about it. But the truth is, is look, we just do this shit for a week and we just keep doing it because I'm telling you, 55 is nothing. Like this is uh, easy see, as shit. See, 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 I don't I don't have an issue with something like this a quarter where we can increase our pay. I think there should be objective and goals to do so. I just it feels like the PD is constantly being kicked down. You know, you guys are doing an awful job. You know, it's like it's like, it's like poking somebody with a stick nonstop. And that's playing devil's advocate as far as the perspective of some officers because they do go out there and try their best, right? And then I've been constantly being told you're all doing a poor job. Do better, right? And it's just it gets to a point to where it's like supposed to do. You know, my, well, I mean, my, look. We, uh, I just want to say I'm other about, jobs I'm, in the okay, city bro. are also having their income evaluated. You are not the only ones. All right. We're in the mis middle of a massive budget evaluation and overhaul at this time. All right. You are not the only ones affected. I know you might feel like you are right now, but there are other people with other jobs. And I have something to say. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, I know Go Flop on. kind of touched on this, but I'm going to use a. I have something to say. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I know Go Flop kind of touched on this, but I'm going to use a... Well, use Wait, does anybody food. have any food or I'm going to pass the fuck out? I do, I do actually. Believe it or not, okay, I have some food. I got Flop some seeds if you want. More like an Thank you. Case, cause, uh, not every cop sells I'll give you the $64 or the, the fuck it is I owe you for this. That uh, take the level of need that he needs to put into. But on a daily basis, I see the will of the people is not wanting to be stabbed at burger places. And I would much rather stop someone. Radio Jack. Who has stabbed someone at a burger place, then harassed Winsong I, for having going on, the adoption the fraud. But, but, but yeah, Duncan, you can go stop those guys. Me and Eclipse, we'll get these points easy. So I'm going to give Winsong adoption fraud once. Me, okay. me stopping like, someone. Hold on, Orin. Let me just, go. Yeah, go for me it. stopping okay. someone that stabbed someone else is more for the will of the people than harassing someone who says that's you know they, that's my X, Y, and Z relative. Oh, okay, so you find that prosecuting uh, adoption fraud is just simply harassing people? Are you saying that you disagree with the penal is, code on the charges? I'd rather as go written? for the zero po zero point quota of stopping someone from stabbing someone than a ten point quota of a citation. I'm not upset with the money cut, to be fair, and I'm not upset with the quota, yeah. but I'm I'm inherently with Duncan on this. Yeah, this isn't I about the money. I, it's no, or, or, I, I don't, let me cook. Oh, sorry, 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 hold on. Ep, ep, ep. This isn't about the money or the whatever. It's trying to change the PD's priorities from being for the will of the people to whatever the mayor's office. The mayor is the will of the people. He was elected. You're not. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, adoption fraud being down there at 10, the optics behind that is what? The more money behind it, it can generate for the state, the more points we can get. It can easily get weaponized in a pretty bad way because you're thinking about the points you're not thinking about police work are you making a difference i understand what are you're you saying. trying Here's, to chase numbers if, if i'm if i may i think the, the the money thing i don't have a problem with the the idea of hitting the point the quota points or whatever with this i agree that we're gonna hit it easy it's not a problem so it's more of a visceral reaction than a because not all of the logistical... charges have some sort of quota point attached to them within the penal code that you can then meet just because you happen to get lucky on that charge i don't think it's a matter of like i i think it's just Quota points are now what people are going to be talking about, about your workload. How, how are you doing? Oh, well, how many quota points do you have? But that doesn't represent it, is, is, is kind of the, the, I think, what people are kind of looking at it. To my, right, why should know. I spend my time talking to people and I can just go and meet these quota points for my PD, right? Shouldn't that be the main focus so we can get a PD uh, pay increase? 
I, I, I'm still, I still, I'm still failing to see why actual assaults are less quota points than a third degree speeding ticket. What does that say about the will of the people? You care about people's lives in this city, or is it the budget? I'm gonna be honest. Um, when I made a nine one one call and it took thirty minutes to officers to respond, uh, I don't know where your priorities are. But this is I'll what the mayor you, I'll, is I'll setting as your priorities. I'll, I'll answer that since uh, I was actually there for that. There were two of us on duty, and we rushed up to to Sandy to talk to you and get and get information. This is about uh, what was his name, Rohan, right? No. Yeah. No. There were two of us more, on duty. More than one. It wasn't about that one. I mean, I mean, now just, look at us now. So well, I mean, you can live in the past. It was when and, I got these at... on my head. There were yeah, still there, like four of us there, on duty. There were about four cops on duty for that. I was one of those officers. So you, say, you I don't know what the priorities are or what look, they have been. You can, live in, you can live in the past about the leadership and what numbers we are, but you look in this room right now, we're a little bit bigger now, so we can live one month ago or we can move forward. And this is not the way to move forward. This is just using us to push an agenda. And uh, Shabon, we're not getting mad at you. I think we're expressing how it feels. So we're trying to communicate to you our feedback, right? Some of it is valid, and some of it is just us complaining about different things. Right? Thank you for so, saying that, Slux. I really do appreciate I don't your think, professionalism. I don't think, yeah, I'm not mad yeah, at you or the mayor. I'm block. just trying to give you my honest feedback on the whole thing. And I just worry that officers will start looking at things points instead of, you know, community policing or proactive policing, which we mm -hmm. need. But the, mace, the most important priority right now should be numbers, should be recruitment, should be trying to get uh, more officers on duty so we can handle all calls. So proactive policing can be second nature to a lot of officers and not to worry about responding to 77s all the time. Some quota points for training people. Get more people out there, then we get more, you know, effective work. We're actually looking True. at uh, bonuses uh, for training. So that is something that we are considering, but it's not going to be underneath the quota program. They're going to be two separate issues and two separate rewards. Priority is now being moved to, uh, instead of, if someone's being stabbed, that we need to focus on adoption fraud or we don't, or we lose our money instead of the stabbing. What the fuck? Stabbing is a zero, zero quota points. Five quota points. Don't what does a quota get poster in afterlife? Or, it or gets you a raise, that? Nick Nolte. It gets you a raise. No, I'm oh, just... For the oh, whole PD. Oh, for the whole oh, PD. So what you're telling me is this is truth. a classroom now, and we're fucking children getting gold stars for doing our job. And when we get enough gold stars, we get a raise. Wow, great. I mean, Nolte, the problem oh, so it's like is... the rest of the city. So it's the like problem the rest is... of the good, good, city. Good, great. Exactly. So now, yeah. now we're like McNulty. sanitation and all that. The where... problem is, McNulty, the problem is, is that it's prioritizing various different things. I don't give a shit what it values. fucking prioritizes. I don't do my job for gold fucking stars to raise my pay. Fuck you. What What is this? Weekly? Monthly? Or weekly. what? Weekly. Weekly. Across the whole PD, okay, not on an individual say, basis. Let's say, Everybody's points add up let, to Let's say we fall short. What happened? Let, let's say no, two nothing. weeks we fall short. Nothing. Nothing would happen as far as I'm aware. The, it's the just pay your, pay will, your pay will just stay where it's at. Which is like it will get weird. lowered. I heard what I heard. Our pay will get lowered if you don't reach this quota. Yep. Or if you game you the system, it gets gold lowered. Stars. Okay, so let's say uh, two weeks in a row we money. lose this quota and our pay gets cut. Okay. Let's go, let's get on wait, duty. By the way, it's already been cut a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. All right. Oh, okay. Like, Nolte, do you feel like you're being condescended I mean, to right now? Do you feel like I'm condescending? It, it is kind of to the mayor. It is kind of. Well, I mean, he's been disrespectful to us. Yeah, I'm asking my mayor. I don't. I don't I, no, 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 no. I don't get. I don't, I don't give a shit about whether. I'd be like, don't get. I'm not asking not. you. I look at this and see. Hey, you guys have to reach this or go fuck yourselves. That's that's how I see this. This is a load of fucking shite. I didn't become a cop to reach a quota. I became a cop to help people, and that's what I'm going to keep doing. And I don't want you to stop helping people. We do not want you to stop helping people. We do not want you to stop caring about any crimes or whatever. Uh, yes. This it, is. However, wait, hold on, hold on. Ho let me, however, let me, let me finish my thought. Let me just finish my thought. Okay, because I wasn't done. All right. However, uh, this is based on feedback that the people have brought the mayor and myself about priorities. He has been dissatisfied with the performance thus far. And as the mayor is quite literally an elected position who represents the will of the people, that's where this is coming from. The, the people being who? In terms of prioritization of this entire list, adoption fraud beats kidnapping. Uh, so what, 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 no, no, what this is telling me is if I see two 911s, one saying, oh, hey, uh, Jimmy Bob McGee just said he's related to Bing Bong. I, I should never, go to hold on, no, no, Nick Nolte, Nick Nolte, no, no, no. I never said it's an order of priority or whatever no, like that. No, no, no this it, is I, an order I, of priority. No, no, it is worth more because it is rarer. 
<laughs> How many adoption fraud cases you end up getting versus a average Joe Schmo assault and battery? I hear this the literally trying to mom help and dad you. every day. To help you. No, this, this quota can go fuck itself. All right, well, thank you so much for your input. Really appreciate that. I will definitely no take all of your you're, you're welcome. Yeah, guys, be more respectful. I, 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 get, I get the fact. No oh, I, I love that are on, and I'm keeping listen, what I'm listen, doing. Listen, this quota listen, can go listen. fuck itself. L listen, I get the fact that some of you are not happy with this, but be respectful. Shaban is trying her best to answer the questions. The mayor is not here. That's she the person we should be. She is taking the aggro for yeah, the guy she, she, who's absolutely The mayor here. should be right here. Last time that happened, the cops were at my door ready to fucking breach my wall. Thanks to Conan Clark. Oh. I would have killed every last one of you for the sanctity of dog count I'd have you know. We were prepared. Bushwookies is a lot. Yes, you were you were lucky crate pulled you off.